Hello. We're back. It's a, it's a Thursday night thunder stream, as per tradition. So, yeah. I, I don't know if there's really a whole lot of like an introduction I can give to, to kind of start kickstart this night off. My hair is a complete disheveled mess and it refuses to stay in a certain spot. It has been a strange day. And we'll get into that momentarily. But, um, hello chat. Why is the text so small? Okay. There we go. That looks better. But, yeah. Uh, uh, this should be... Uh, hello, NASCAR Demo. Hello, Phantom, Golf Kid, Andrea, uh, Brent Taylor, uh, Lord. But, yeah, we're here. And, as usual... Kind of scared. <laughs> this game kind of kind of scares me sometimes. I don't know what to expect. I I, I think I know what I'm, I'm gonna go expect going into it, and then I'm so wrong in all of my hypotheses and theories of practicing. It's like oh, I'm taking all my notes, and then then the race comes, and then it's just like so different. I don't know. Um, but hello, this should be interesting. You're damn right. Uh, maybe start doing. Season mode with these tracks for other videos. Well, I'm doing these as a stream, so I would it'd feel weird to even do them as like regular videos now. I wanted to kind of save these for like as like a stream, so I'm already preoccupied with the season mode stuff. Your bingo card is about ready. Well, that's good. Uh, can you play Oregon Trail after the races or make an easy popcorn in your microwave? What timing do you use for the popcorn? <laughs> I'm not going to be doing Oregon Trail. I think this is going to probably fill up like three hours like normal. Popcorn, yes. I, I probably will literally make it on stream, I guess, at the end. Um, I usually set the microwave. Well, I hit popcorn, and it does like two and a half minutes. And I stop it before it, it reaches two minutes and 30 seconds, because if I keep it going the whole time, it burns it. So I, I wait for like the, like one pop, and then wait like five seconds in between it, and then I stop it. So it's usually right around like uh, 15 to like I guess eight seconds left. Then I shut it off. Uh, what is it with you and your faces in the weirdest places for Johnny Benson now that they're here? I I have to, I, you know, if I didn't take a picture, people would truly think I was going absolutely insane. So I should go into this real quick here. Um. Let me, let me just find it here. This is in my Discord. So what is this? I just want to bring this up here. I'm going to open it up in browser. Let me actually go do this first. It's actually it's actually loading it. Okay, thank you. It, it had to load it twice, but all right. Let's actually bring it up. Uh, <laughs> it's, it does not make sense. But it does, it, it is a thing that has happened. So I'll give some context here. So I was getting a shower. And then all of a sudden, I'm seeing these faces form on my ring finger and my pinky. I was so terrified of what the fuck was happening. And this was so bizarre. I was like, you know what? I gotta take a picture of this. No one's gonna freaking believe me. So I... I got out of the shower, or I, I took my phone that's, like, right beside the shower. I, I took that, took the picture. I wiped my phone down because the, the, it was wet. It was starting to get wet. <laughs> Shocking. It's near water. But I took the picture. Because there is there is some faces here. That is an absolute face. And that angers me. Why? Why? How? Why and how? Not just on one finger, but two. It looks like it's, like, smiling at me. It's freaking me out. What is this? How did this happen? I'm concerned for your sanity. There is a fuck. There is a face here. You may not see it with the Johnny Benson, but there's an absolute face there. 
And I'm so just terrified, and I'm so confused how that happened. How did my skin form in such a way? It doesn't look like that now. It never gets like that when it's pruny. Only today, for some unknown reason, and only two of my fingers. What, what does this mean? I'm so scared. Is this, am I being possessed that I do, I'm not aware of? Okay, those two fingers. I don't have to worry about those. I'm actually holding a controller, so I don't think that's going to be uh, a problem. But this is why my hair is disheveled, because I'm trying to process it. My head's flying all around, and I'm just, I'm scared. That is the, the brunt of this confusion. They look like they are smiling. It kind of does. It looks like, like the happy face emoji, except the eyes a little more, I guess, squinty or like put it pushed down. I don't know. Something, but it definitely is look like they're smiling, and it's it's terrifying me. Power of Christ compels you. I I maybe, I, I might need some Jesus or something. I don't know. But I'm just scared. I don't know what else really to say. It's just the the strangest, darnest things. So, confusion aside, my audio might have, like, bled into each other there. I should have said, like, aside, then stop, and then transition. But anyways, yeah, so, yeah. I, I don't know what to really say about that. It's just weird. You need, uh, but yeah. I'm just, I just don't know what to really say about it, you know? It's just... Life is what you make of it, and I try to make it fun or weird or not, not weird, not intentionally weird, but just it's interesting. They like wall sockets. They kind of do. <laughs> they kind of do. <laughs> um. Yeah. Also, I did every freaking time I have to do a stream. I there. I I always have some kind of errands to run. So I had air, an errand to run because I need I need my chalky milk because um I take my vitamins and I need them because they're like big horse pills. Actually, I should show it for scale. They're this big. All right, so I I need I need chocolate milk for it. And uh, so I ran to get it. I got three things. I got. I got water. Yeah, I got pizza Pringle because I literally have not had these in like probably ten years, and and chocolate milk, and it turned out to be nine seventy seven for that. I hate inflation, and I hate that buying basic things cost so damn much in total, and that angers me. So. I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed by that too. My hair refuses to calm down. You know what? I'm gonna put. Well, now it just looks like I'm like. See, this is why I wear a hat. This is why I wear a hat. Makes things so much easier because I don't have to worry about my freaking hair being like all over the place. So you know what? We're just gonna do that. That's gonna fix all the problems. Make sure all the dimples do that. Okay. The dimples is like this this thing here. That's why I keep calling it a dimple, but it's that. I don't want the headset resting on it. It's fucking bonkers. How fucking expensive everything is now. Chocolate milk. I get like a small thing of chocolate milk, but that's like... I don't know. I don't know. I, I hate things now. God. Um. Other ways... Rants aside, you know, we're just going to boot up this game here. You yeah, actually boot up here, because if I left it on, it was just going to be the thunder noises in the background. That's going to annoy me. You ain't got no headphone indent on your head. EA Sports. It's in the game. I might. I don't know. EA Sports. It's in the game. NASCAR Thunder 2003. They're not wrong. And, and, and if you heard it, if you knew, if you know the audio, that was Kurt Busch's pick crew member. That was it's it was meant to be. Anyways, let's boot this up. So obviously, 
It's going to take a couple seconds to actually load all the textures because um, it takes a long time. What are you doing before the Benson showed up on your fingers? I was, I was in the shower. I was in the shower, and then I just looked down at my hands, and I saw it, and I was so... I was like, that is a, that is a freaking face. And it's going to probably go away once my prudiness goes away, being in the shower. So I was like, that's it. Took my phone, picture, and I put it back down. So... Should have edited it to say. That would have been cool, but you would need the. You'd have AI's voice, and it probably would not gel with the the original audio. Then merge it for the AI audio of like 2000. It's not gonna look right. <laughs> something something on Discord. Um. Oh boy. Why? I just I. That's luckily it's just my Discord. So nothing got link leaked, but. This is the headphone and then the reference. Okay, first of all, I don't think that image is real. That That's definitely fake. I've seen that video originally, and it's not like that. I, I just want to look over on my other screen. I just want to make sure everything's like... I guess the, the there is black bars on this. That's interesting. But, yeah, I've seen that original video. It's like, it is, it is, there is a dent, but it's not like that deep. It's a bit edited. Well, you had something on your hand. I don't know. I, there was something clearly there. And it was ter it, it freaked me out. I guess, I guess if JC just sees like a freaking face forming on his hand, he's just going to be like, <laughs> you single? <laughs> I guess that's what he would do. So. Um, yeah, Sledge did a great job with this mod. I always like to bring that up. Also, god damn it, I almost did it again. Before I actually jump into it, thank you to my members. I appreciate that. I'm looking up. I'm looking up over there. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, um, means a lot. Obviously, we have me up above looking at them, keeping them, keeping them in line, keep making sure they're all not pinching a loaf. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, but uh, feel free to dissect Mr. G. JC, I've seen that clip. I don't know how that made any sense. You were in like four different positions and didn't gain a single spot. You're I, like if if nerd JC can't figure it out, I don't know how I would figure it out because I'm not as much of a nerd. <laughs> if that doesn't tell you how strange I I am, I don't know what will. I don't know. Um, you know what? We're just gonna race. We're just gonna get into this. Let's fix the. Let's uh, stretch this out a little bit so it actually fits the screen properly. Wow, I can't go any further. Okay, but now we gotta go to scale or transform, edit transform. What is happening? Now it's now the now the bottom's going away. Right? But the, now the bottom's getting what is this? Stop it. There. Alright. Alright, we're almost there. There. <laughs> Sunday doesn't look good for cup. I saw that. I'm I'm okay with that because I work Sunday, so if that... I mean, I don't know why I would get even excited for Talladega. It's probably just going to end in like a typical fashion where they're going to wreck on the white flag and then it's just going to kind of deflate the three hours you've been building up this freaking tease. So I don't know what really to say with it. Um, I would be okay with being pushed to Monday just to... Would I, though? 
I guess for most people, yes, that would suck. I guess for me, I truly do not care one way or the other how that shapes up. If they get it all on Sunday or not, I don't know. But uh, on last night's Queen Night episode, the Mass Singer ugly sweater, which Charlie Wilson starfish was, well, that's cool. Um, we started fourth with, uh, with less than ten to go. Give another word, JC. I I don't know. I don't I don't have the answer to these questions. You know, I just, I, I don't really have the answer to this question. Oh, I know. Yes, it's a bunch of bull hockey. That is a bull hockey. <laughs> there. I had to put the glasses on and I was able to figure out, you know, what, what the problem was. So that kind of makes sense. Anyways, let's get into this. Let's vroom. Let's neom. And uh, we're obviously, the theme of the stream, I should mention this, but we're doing the all of the fantasy tracks with a bit of a twist. All of them are 10% races, and we're going to complete all of them, which there's eight of them. So we're kind of, in theory, doing like an 80% race. So that's kind of uh, what we're doing. So uh, custom schedule, difficulties on Legend. Just want to preference, there is apparently some conspiracy theories or something you can do where you can... I don't know, like, mod the game settings or, like, overlap settings from, like, season mode or career from, like, career mode, but then put it into season mode. I don't know where that comment was even from because I don't... It's not in my videos. I haven't seen it in, even in my comment session. I don't I don't know. I, I truly don't know. But that's a conspiracy going around now. So, I, I'm on Legend. I don't even have a career mode file in the in some I think at race 25 I bring it up so we got a long time before it actually comes up in my regular season mode cuz I record like so many in, in advance but yeah legend difficulty 10% race length unlimited fuel and tires off so will be on and this is all the settings actually my game on here is a little bit low I know I said I I changed it before um the thunder 2002 review <laughs> my that video one, how did you find this? Two, that video is from, oh my god, seven years ago, just about? It's, it, maybe it's possible on, on, a, on a mod, or not on a mod, but like on, a, on an emulator, but not on console. I don't know. Actually, let me fix the game audio, because it's a bit too low. I know I adjusted it before I did the stream, so let's actually... One, two, three. Okay. That's so why I, I want to get Carpet Rider in there. That was probably, honestly, that like three, like three seconds probably got me a copyright strike for that because I just wanted to listen to it for like three seconds, so. Alright. Now that we saved everything, let's create a new one. Custom Legend off. Okay. All that situated. Let's add all the tracks. I have it in my handy dandy notebook over here. Yeah, my the funny thing with Thunder O2 with them only picking 12 tracks, I kind of came to this conspiracy theory. I don't even know if it's a conspiracy theory, but it makes the most sense to me. They purposely picked 12 tracks because those 12 tracks were probably the easiest to drive of the other ones. And it kind of makes sense because... Some of them that are in that career mode aren't too bad, but then the ones that aren't in there, like, that, that, it really, really sucks. So I think they did that on purpose. That's my theory. What happened to the one you made last Thursday? I'm not doing that, because if I did 25% race, races, it's going to make it even easier. And it's just not going to be fun to, to stream. We kind of discovered this last week where most of the races we just kind of won effortlessly. So this will add a layer of challenge and make it harder because we're basically cutting the race length almost in half. So what we're going to do, Daytona, it's going to be the road course. That's our first race. The second one will be at Homestead. The third one's going to be at Phoenix. The fourth one's at... Or Pocono. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Pocono. The next one is Talladega. Uh, 
Hello, Stephen Havis. Harvey. I said Havis. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, hello. Uh, we got Talladega, then Texas. Tiburon. And then we wrap it up at Daytona Beach, which is what we did in Thunder 04 Fantasy Tracks. Even though it's technically not a fantasy track, but... I, apparently it's more fantasy than fiction or reality because this track doesn't look it, how it was in real life from what from what Jay-Z said. And I trust his word because, man, he, he no-lifed this game. So, what if we're really... Yeah, yeah, add that to the list. So that's our schedule. Except changes. So we got eight races. Um... There was six day ones and, uh, and two night races. Halfway, though. Yes, I am starting it over. If I did the other four, it would not be fun to, to stream. It really would it would really suck. It would not be fun to watch. It would not be fun to play. So we're going to do it this way. Even if I did them as, like, edited videos, they it wouldn't even be fun to record. So... Fantasy and fiction. I know I should have said nonfiction. Um, but yeah. So obviously we're going with Ken Schrader again. This is sort of like a redo, but more of like an intentional redo because before it was too easy. With these settings, it's gonna make it harder. Obviously, we went with Ken Schrader there. So gameplay AI on ledge difficulty, AI kind of in their most whack jank mode possible. That's just kind of how it is in this mod for Legend that he, he just sledge his thought. I'm gonna make it freaking wild, and he just put all the sliders to the right to this to their speed, record frequency, aggressiveness, defensiveness, pit strategy, and mistakes. So, I'm expecting some form of chaos. We kind of saw that at Pocono, so I'm not I'm not gonna be totally surprised. But um, you can't put yourself on the bingo card. That don't make any damn sense. If I make a bingo card. And I'm going to be like, so a word has to be said in chat. That you put said word. That don't count. That's such, that's cheesing it. It's like, that's like making yourself win at bingo. You're trying to find like the thing. It's like, oh, I need, I specifically need like B4. And then I bring up the ball and it's like, oh, it's, okay, it's C3. Uh, no, that's not it. No, no, uh. I, uh, no, that's not the right one. Oh, no, 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 oh, that's B2. Oh, that's B1. Oh, now I got B4, but it took you, like, you, per like, intentionally gave yourself bingo. What is this? Someone don't understand bingo. Anyways, we're gonna get into this. Because we got, we got a good chunk of races to do. That was 28 minutes of free stream. Minus the four at the beginning, so. We're under 30 minutes. What's up, dude? Parker! Hi, Parker! Hi. That doesn't... No! That's not how it works. You can't just give yourself bingo. Because you put bing... You put freaking nerd emoji. That no! Like the guy who got banned from the NBA for bidding at games he was manipulating. I heard about that. That's some... That's some bull hockey, ha <laughs> ha cock. Sorry. All right. Anyways, on to Daytona. Also, I thought of this as like a stream goal. We're gonna we're gonna take a page out of DSP. Yet yeah, we're literally taking a reference and inspiration from Dark Side Phil. I never thought I would say that, but if this stream somehow gets like fifty fifty dollars in like super chats or or t tips or whatever, I will put on the Kirk show. Or the Robin shirt. I I don't, I don't care anymore. That's that's our freaking petty ass goal. It worked with him. He did the best. It got like it got like a hundred and eighty plus days or to something like it was. I don't understand how that worked, but fuck it. It, it, it worked for him. People criticized him for it, but like shit, it it worked. Gonna be a good stream. I hope so. Uh, let me just do some practice laps. Let me just make sure it's all on default, which, yep, it is. I keep hitting the back button, but it's GameCube, so I'm, I'm messing it up. Oh, oh, Ricky Rudd, alternate scheme alert. I, I'm happy with that. Mark Martin, 
primary. All right. I just need some practice laps just to get refreshed on it because I was used to running uh, basically Daytona Beach. I was doing a lot of extra practicing with that. The other tracks weren't too bad. I was just doing a lot of practicing with the Daytona Beach because there's a whole lot wrong with that track in this game that I need to rant to when we get to it. But yeah, it's nice to finally get accustomed with all the the fantasy tracks, the road courses and stuff. They're all fun to they're, they're pretty fun to drive. I just wish the AI were just a little more competitive. I think with the 10% race, it's going to make it a lot harder. You're just not going to have enough time. need to see what if Meltdown after some dumb AI shit. I don't want that. That's going to make me upset. Boy, JC just doesn't... JC, maybe people just don't want to do a profile picture. My mom has, like, a YouTube, like, account. And she doesn't have a profile picture. And it's just, like, a random default image. You make a fun of my mom, basically... You can't do that. Also, oh shit, I forgot to even mention this. Thank you, JC, for letting my mom know that there was a package coming. And, and messaging her about that. That was cool. That was wholesome. JC and my mom are just turning into like the best of friends. Man, every every time I stream, I I want to look at chat and interact with chat, but then we there's always some kind of beef, and I don't understand. Why can't we just have a good time, laughing and goofing, gaffing? It's just I don't understand why we can't have simple things. That was six tenths faster than our than John Andretti, so I think we got our our goofs, gaffs all in a line with that. Also, for the first, first four races, since we've already heard the pre-race introduction stuff, I'm going to skip it. Then when we get to the other, like, the second half of the season, we will be, we will look through it, because we haven't seen that before. Or maybe I'll turn the face cam off. Maybe we'll, we'll still listen to it, like, together in chat, but I'll turn my face cam off for those four. Just something to, I don't know, change it up. How many races? There's eight. You might have missed it when uh, I was doing the setting up the season, but there's eight fantasy tracks. If you want to count Daytona Beach as a fantasy, which it kind of isn't because it's based in a real track, but the way it looks in this game, I don't think how it looked in real life in that time period, so I don't know. But close enough. JC's having a good time. I wish I was him. Minus the... Um, hurricane destroying his home part that's not i don't know if i want to relive that i was watching ultimate dragon's video on that like back in like 2020 just randomly again just rewatching. i was like damn that that period of time was terrible for so many people i feel bad it's just wild but anyways uh gotcha thumbs up uh hold on what are what are our tracks so you know nascar demo I got my notebook out. Uh, it's Daytona Road Course, the Homestead Road Course, Phoenix Road Course, the Pocono Road Course, Talladega Road Course, Texas Road Course, Tiburon, and Daytona Beach. That's the what we have in order. So it kind of is basically right down the leaderboard. So we basically start in the area of Daytona and end at Daytona. So it, it, it bookends the season. Am I saying that's what they should do in real life? I mean, they might one day. Honestly, they might. We're going to get to a point where the finale will literally be at a... At a plate track or draft track whatever they call it now it used to be super speedway or or it used to be restrictor plate but then those are gone but then and then it used to be super speedway but then they changed it to draft tracks which it wouldn't michigan be a draft track I, I don't i'm done all right i'm getting too old for this let's get into it Luckily, we're going to be starting last, so I don't have to, like, fake qualify and purposely put myself last. So. All right. Here we go.
here in the infield of the Daytona International Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. A little different than what we're used to seeing here, Barney. Well, this is going to be road course racing with a very large twist. These cars will go zigging and zagging through the infield and then go up on the track surface where they'll gain a ton of speed and dive back down into the infield and do it all over again. Man, I can't wait. This is going to be fun. Ken Schrader has earned over 20 pole positions during his NASCAR career. Schrader's always been pretty good in qualifying, especially in the late 80s and early 90s. In 1993, he started 8 of 30 races from the front row. And when you're not working your way through traffic, a good finish is a lot easier. Beautiful, beautiful introduction. I'm glad they brought up Ken Schrader's stats. John Andretti on pole. Oh, no. John Andretti is going to be our championship contender. And with these road courses, there is going to be some random people, or I guess unusual people, running up front. Is John Andretti going to have that type of day? I don't know. If it was a typical mile and a half, I would say no. But I don't, I, I don't know. But here we go. 14 laps. We do not have much time to get up to the field. I think we did the 25% race. It took us like 25 laps to do it. So I, I don't think we're going to have a shot to win. But if we could just have consistently good runs, that's all I'm going to be kind of worried about. A little bit of a stack up there. Just, so, yeah, we're going to have to uh, ride that fine line of aggressiveness, aggressiveness and, and toughness. Also, it might be really hard to look at chat while I'm racing. Oh, that's a, that's a patented thunder wreck and I have nowhere to go. I just ran into the back of Mike Skinner. So whoever said that they wanted chaos and me getting pissed, I, we're getting there. You're absolutely getting there, and that is absolute hood damage. Yep, that is some big-time bull honky hood damage. Which I'm not totally surprised, because they did that, I think, last week at that particular part of the track, except one car flipped over. I'm, that's not Mike Skinner. That's freaking Bobby Hamilton. I'm getting my, my games confused. Yeah, that's nine spots gained in the first lap. Not bad. Uh, West is still in the basement. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I give you all the permission to escape the basement many times. But you just choose to be trapped. I don't know why I had such a pause, dramatic pause in that, but it, it, sounded, it kind of sounded badass, not gonna lie, but. Elliot Sadler, I can't have you freaking scrub and choke on the, on those apron, the, 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 the curbs. I gave you so much room to nail that corner, respectively. Let's get by Jeffrey Bodine, who's shockingly racing, even though he just crashed here in the truck race not that long ago, but he's just the badass. He could just race the next freaking week. Oh no. Yeah, we're moving up through the field. I think the AI are going to be pitting around lap 7. That's my assumption. Going to probably not repair this damage. That is so much hood damage that I think that would actually hurt us repairing it. And that's five spots. You should be able to edit yourself. JC on those freaking good quotes. I'll give him that. JC smart. Yeah, this corner here, for whatever the reason, gained a lot of time through there. It didn't downshift me into fourth there, which is interesting. Still, Now it put me down to third. Oh, that little, little boopsie doodle with Kyle Petty, but we're fine. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I mean with uh, difficulty not being too hard. Because we're gaining, like, almost four or five spots a lap. You know what? I will say, those freaking pizza Pringles, because I was almost going to get sour cream and onion, because someone in my chat last week was talking about it, and it made me think about it, but then I, then I, then I saw the pizza Pringles, like, oh, snap. I have not had those in a long time, so I, I picked up and got those, and uh, they're good. Um, maybe my taste buds are just falling apart. I mean, I did have, I, I did legitimately have COVID back in December, so maybe it still is affecting my taste buds. 
That's a that's a freaking hot corner right there. That was what four spots gained right there. That that may have just maybe become more straight after that. Ooh, Stewart. Okay. Oh, that's JC's boy, B O I I, Tony Stewart. Yeah, with this season, I think it's more or less just going to be point racing. I don't, I mean, there might be one or two tracks I think we have a shot to win at. But I think this season will be a lot more competitive. We're not going to win every race. And obviously we have the picker to probably, Ricky Rudd, I didn't know you were pitting. I, you didn't put your hand out the window, so... Why is it me and Ricky Rudd with so many things in life? It just got personal. You're going to see that in like one of my Thunder 03 episodes at some point. Me and Ricky Rudd continue to have problems long after the Thunder 04 career mode series. And I truly don't know why, because I love Ricky Rudd. But in the video game form, me and him always have some kind of beef. Yeah, they're pitting kind of early. I thought they were going to wait a little bit longer, but... They're, they're, I would say they're smart. I guess they're, they are technically smart, but our car is still pretty good even deep into a run, so I think we could probably get away with staying out longer. One of the rare cases I think an undercut's not going to really matter. But, yeah, we'll, we'll pit next time by. I don't know if they're pitting this lap. Mayfield, uh, all right. Tony, why you run 18th? I don't know, JC. Tone, your boy Tone is not doing well. Johnny Benz is doing well. Where's Ultimate Dragon at? I want her to go like, when she sees Benz. It's funny, in one of my practice races at Darlington, no, it was Richmond. It's practicing for Richmond. And Johnny Benson led like 16 laps, and he ended up leading the most laps in this practice session, which was just amazing. Unfortunately, it was not during the actual recording, but it was just during our practice race. Oh, that's that's a yellow. That's not good. The AI finally did an uh-oh. And we're going to pit that lap, too, so that's going to just confuse the field order even more. Johnny, Johnny Dreddy still was bleeding up until I guess just now we get a spot on Terry Labonte well that makes things easier I guess we'll just see what happens is it in the, in the traditional colloquially part of the track where it happened last week is that what it's trying to tell me yep yep Bobby Hamilton flipped it that's I don't know what to say. He just, he rolled it over. At least they threw out the yellow for that. Why don't you do your vlogs anymore? I just don't really have much interesting things in life to really talk about. Are they pitting? Yes, they're pitting. Okay. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of interesting things for me to really vlog about. I just, I, I just don't really have anything fun to really show. I think the last one I did was I ran to like sheets. That was like 2022, I think. And we get stacked up. And Dale Earnhardt runs into me. What else? What if you nerd? Stop. JC, you can't just say those words. Don't forget about me. I am a Tony fan. That is true, Lord. That is your boy as well. 16.9 was the estimated time repair, and we got 16.5. So the pit crew actually do what they need to. We cycle out 13th, but I think there were some people that hit it, that got the lead. So uh, that's going to kind of jumble things up. War I think Ward Burn is our leader. We only got five laps to go, but I think we may get some debris yellows. So I want to go just in case the debris yellows end the race. Don't hit the apron. Nobody hit the curtains. Terry Labonte. Car high. Robert Presley running good. Good 
Good run for him. This is why Earnhardt hit. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is that the story? Is that the backstory behind it? That is some freaking dark humor shit right there, JC. Good lord. Right, let's get a good exit off the last corner. Beautiful. And that's 10th. That's 9th of. Rick, it's not Rick Mass, but B9. Oh, your boy Tony is up there. Good for him. I don't know how he did it. The undercut saved him because he anticipated the caution happening. Ricky Rudd's up here, so I'm sure something bad's going to happen for me. Man, that was were some awful corners by me just no angle into them no proper momentum to be built off them it just it was just ugly sure it was butker i think in the actual 01 500 in earnhardt's last pit stop he damaged the front nose of his car so i don't know i remember something about that happening which may have potentially hindered his car a little bit. I don't know. But it's weird. I don't know if that if Schrager was the one that caused that. I, I don't really remember, but Yeah, we're we you know, I thought we were not gonna have a shot to win. Maybe that caution never came out, but um Yeah, I think we're gonna be in good shape here. We've got enough laps left to go. And we're just gonna take the leave right now, okay. Ward, please don't hit the curbs. Rusty, don't hit the curbs. Thank you. Oh, that's like almost three wide through there. That one corner is our biggest strength. Everywhere else, they're not that bad. But that one, that one corner, that one left-hander, they really just uh, don't like it. But going for a lead, we got all the proper track uh, angles and everything, arcs. And there we go, into the lead. Unfortunately, we don't... There's not enough laps for me to... Did you see that in the mirror? Oh my god. I don't know who just got obliterated in that final corner. But someone just got their shit rocked. Was that Ward Burton? Someone just took him out. Someone play back the stream and you will see it. <laughs> Holy, that was bad. Orlando with a good a good question there. I like that. Mine was uh Dale Earnhardt. But I know it's kind of like an obvious choice, but 3-year-old me just liked it. And three-year-old me was like 1998, so that's about as dumb and simple as it got. Surprised that was not a yellow, considering Wardburn went like face first into the wall. That was Ward getting loose. He just got loose. He didn't get turned by. He just turned. I don't know why Ward did that. You're not supposed to turn right there. Anyways, white flag time, so. Yeah, I mean, it was it was tough getting up through the field. That caution kind of helped. But we cycled out like 13th. So we still had a, it was, it was a, it was a well-earned victory. Very quick one, too. So, yeah. Getting through eight races should probably take under three hours total. I mean, it's basically the it's basically like eighty percent race length in total, in conjunction with everything. So we're gonna be kind of kind of starting a season off on the same note as the attempted one of last week. So. <laughs> Nothing quite changed there, except we're not going to lead the most laps, I don't think. Ultimate Dragon just got back from a long road trip. Hello. 
Hello, Dub. Yes. I'm okay with that. Uh, my first ever favorite was Bill Elliott. He's still one of my big three today. Oh. Oh, that's adorbs. Hey, Thank you, MRN. And we get our glorious victory lane celebration. Car has a bit of damage on it, obviously with that lap one little fa la 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 incident. But otherwise, not bad. Field's gotta be embarrassed to lose to someone like me. Can you imagine me winning a race in Victory Lane? I want to, like, if, I, I can't even think of, like, the logistics of how that would happen or what would, would it, what, what would occur. I would almost think that they wouldn't want me to talk because they're going to, they're probably say, they're, they're going to be, like, so terrified that I'm going to, like, say something so terrible to, like, lose my sponsors. <laughs> I want to thank all my weeb fans out there. Go Robin. Um... Kyoko is the best looking girl to date Rob. <laughs> like, and everybody's just looking at me like, what the f They're tapping, them on, like, tapping me on the shoulder. Like, what are, you, what are you fucking talking about? It's like, I, Kyoko, you know? And then they're just like, they're just gonna like, get the cane and like, take me off stage. But yeah, uh, we, uh, 14 laps. We led three. Jeff Byrne led two. Uh, John and Dre led five. He ended up leading the most laps, and your boy John got ninth. Mark Martin tenth, and poor Ricky or poor, not Ricky Bum, yeah Ward Burton who earned hard the outside wall there, led four laps. Some of that might have been under caution, but he led some laps. And Tony Stewart got fourteenth. What happened to him? Why is there three cars DNF? What happened? I didn't see this. What? I mean, I like the fact that Jimmy Spencer DNF, but what happened to Chad Little and Jerry Nadu? Why is Stuart like? Was did, did he just wasn't he up there? I'm so lost. Why is Wally back here? He's a great road course extraordinaire. Bobby Hamilton flipped over and was still faster. How? Also, check general. What is happening in my Discord? What? What is blowing things up so vibrantly? JC just made a freaking emo of the face on my freaking hand. You can't do that. No, that I'm 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 personally con concerned. I should not have made my I well, I, guess, well, I guess JC's a mod now technically, so I guess he does have the right to literally just make, create whatever emo. But I should definitely make it so like only mods and the, the owner should. I don't know. Uh, you want either that? Uh, we did have a little bit of damage, but that was only from like the start where the field checked up. Otherwise, um, well, what also happened too is Ward Burton got turned or just ran to the outside wall and that stacked up people. So that kind of added to our big lead. But, um, yeah. How many times can you say your, your, your boy Johnny Benson was the highest among your favorite drivers finishing in a race? I don't know. Mine got seventh. That's going to make Ultimate Dragon have like the this emoji where like the eyes are like like a straight line and then it's like straight face it's like I can't do that but <laughs> alright anyways on to the next one question do you have uh do you have you I don't have any old Game Boy games on my phone I don't have that if I did I would love to get Dragon Ball Z Supersonic Warriors on it because I love that game but yeah, I don't, I don't have that. Um, but point situation. We have a five-point lead over Jeff Burton. Rusty Wallace third. Most of this is going to look kind of the same. John and Dre did gain a little bit because he did lead the most laps. Dale Earnshark. Mine ain't here yet. Uh, your, your boy's eighth, so I, that's the next best thing. 
Uh, I keep hitting the, the, the Y button, which is like the normal back button on like the PlayStation. Because I'm thinking like I'm on the PC XS2, which uses the PlayStation 2 controls. And this is the GameCube, and it's like a little bit different, and it's upsetting me. But yeah. So we're just going to save that as F2, I guess we're going to call it. Because I can't put Fantasy 2, because Fantasy 2 isn't going to finish that, so... Uh, can I put that in capital letters, please? Thank you. Thank you. Eric. Eric. Uh, backspace. Uh, which button's clear? Okay. F. Two. Where? Why was that so hard for me? Um, I don't know how we lost 34 spots. It kind of. I'm a bit concerned by that. But anyways, different paint scheme time. I like this M&M Crispy one, so we're going to go for that. We're just going to go different paint scheme for each race. Does eBay have any of those Winston hats? Dale Earnhardt? Dale Jarrett have on? Good question. I truly don't know. They might. Someone on eBay is going to probably have them. Ugh. Used to have a Jimmy Johnson extra car, but the car exploded in several pieces when I dropped my bucket of old NASCAR I bought. Damn, it broke from a fall? I, uh, hold on. Let me go into practice here so I can... Okay, so the audio can be quiet. Um, I know I showed this last stream. But, uh... I have two cars here that were on top of my microwave. These were cars I used to play with when I was, like, little, so... These are, these are kind of battered, but I have the, uh, it's technically an Ernie Irvin 1998 car. As you can see, it's very scraped up. It's got a lot of damage on it. The back window is gone. That doesn't exist anymore. And, um, yeah, it's actually got so much damage that this here is, like, bent. It's not supposed to be, like, curved like this. So, I, uh, I did that. And also, we got, I never showed this last one, but we got the Terry Labonte 2000 Rice Krispie car, which is actually in this game. So, that's cool. I'm sure JC's like, <laughs> Rice Krispie. Uh. But, yeah, um, it's a nice looking car. This one isn't nearly as damaged. I mean, the, the window's like broken back here. But that's like the most severe damage. I mean, everything else isn't nearly as bad. So, this must have taken place later in my childhood days of running these cars through the kitchen, banging them off walls, which they're still dense in the freaking walls today, like on the floor. But it's a good looking car. I like it. I just wished like five to eight, nine year old me would just appreciate these cars more and not just beat the tar out of them. But these were just laying in my cellar, collecting dust. So I, just, I took them out. I also thought these would be a good thing to show for the stream since I'm running basically a car similar to this in Steam. No, not entirely, but it's, it's close enough. But I love, I, even as a kid, I always loved these cars. I don't like Rice Krispies. What is wrong with you, JC? You like every other food in the freaking circuit of the, of the world. And I do. I actually like Rice Krispies. What universe are we in? Usually I'm the one that doesn't like certain, most foods. It's like completely opposite for this one. This snap crackles and pops, which is what you do on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, JC snap crackle pops. <laughs> he snaps, he crackles, and then he then he pop and locks. I don't know, I'm done. All right, we're going back to the. I'm getting too weird. But yeah. Uh... But yeah, I love those cars. I just wanted to bring them up. I, I also have more, but I don't want to do. I don't want to be wasting too much time here. We got to race. We got to practice. I got. I got to get in my peak gamer form. I like Rice Krispie treats, not the soggy f cereal stuff. I don't think I've ever tried the the cereal kind. I've. I. I like the treats. I was referring to the treats. Your bones snap, crackle, pop every morning. You know what? I can sort of relate. There's certain days when I sleep and wake up. I don't know why I had to clarify wake up from my sleep. I don't know, I don't know why I did that, but sometimes if I sometimes there will be there there will be some days where I sleep and wake up and it's just like man I don't feel great. 
Like, I slept wrong, or maybe I was sleeping weird, which isn't going to be to a total shock to me, because I always have slept weird. I wiggle and wiggle waggle all around when I'm sleeping. My, I'm like, I, I, like, form myself into a pretzel, or just, I don't do weird stuff. Yeah, everyone wakes up from sleep. <laughs> Stop! Stop, you're making fun of me, and I don't like it. It's a normal thing. <laughs> Yes, it is. I, I agree. I don't know why. I don't know why I had to clarify that. <laughs> I clarify the most dumbest things, but then when things truly need clarification, I don't elaborate on it. You're gonna fly over there and snap crackle pop my ass if you don't shut up that shut up you dank pleb. That was so much hipster lingo, I don't even know what you just said. Like you're you're too you're too young for me. I just I don't know. This track is barely real close. It's 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 a it's it barely qualifies as it. It's, it's literally almost all entirely left turns now that I'm thinking about it. That's not very dynamic. You got the, like, chicane, kind of. That's, like, the closest thing to a right-hander. So, so, obviously, last stream, I won all four of the races I did. And, uh, really, well, it really wasn't much of a challenge, so I'm, I'm assuming with 10%, it should be a lot harder. I like to think we're not going to win and then have maybe an interesting championship battle. But, we will find out and see. So, what was my lap time there? It's 43.0, oh, this will be a 43. Forty-two six. Okay, they're damn. Yeah, they should be tough. We didn't even get to their uh, lap time, so all right. Let's have Amaran take it away. Uh, just clarify. Obviously, default setup. There we go. All right, now let's get into it. MRN welcomes you to the Homestead Miami Speedway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. We're live from the infield to bring you flag-to-flag -flag coverage. Road course racing is always fun to watch, isn't it, Barney? Yeah, but these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers aren't too experienced when it comes to road racing. We'll see how they handle this track today. It's a tough one. Sterling Marlin picked up Rookie of the Year honors in 1983, but it took him over 10 years. To that camera's going by play. way they too fast. Oh, my God. Action. Is that just me? It really is flying win, through. Might as well make it a big one. And Sterling did with a win in the 1994 Daytona 500. Ken Schrader has earned over 20 pole positions. We heard this. Yawn. Especially in the late 80s and early 90s. I know Ken Schrader's just ama amazing at poles in the 80s. I, I respect it. I, 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 it's, it's hot, but I need more info on Ken Schrader than that. Well, I got to Pocono. I got abandoned. You did not get abandoned. You didn't know where you were, which is understandable because you've never been there before. But don't don't freaking word it as if as if you like we nobody like abandoned you. You hugged Blue Jimmy so much. I saw the phone fly out of him. You absolute freaking no. That was Blue Jimmy that did that. JC didn't do that. Yeah, his phones went flying. It was violent. It was a violent hug. I didn't even get a hug like that. I want my I want a hug so violent my phone flies out. <laughs> All I remember was when I saw his JC. He was walking. He was like he was like his shoulders were so tense. He was just like walking like this. Ah, uh, hi, what if? Um, big fan. Ah. Uh, like, like that. And it was just like... I'm so upset. Wait, I... No, I need a hug from KG. I need that more than anything. 
All right, right. All right. Tangents aside, Scott Pruitt's on pole. That's fitting, but we'll see if he actually has long run speed. Starting from row seven will be the 88 car and the I I agree, Ultimate. It did the spin thing again. At the at 15, screw over. It should actually be 16 for the home side. Lord knows his planes. I will say that much. Why is Squidward? <laughs> I don't know. It just, I don't know. Sometimes JC sounds like it fit. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is JC and I like pineapple and bananas. Uh, I don't know. Let's race. I, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling too much. All right. 17 laps. A little bit longer than uh, Daytona. We're going to see if this is going to be a little bit harder. Based on the practice times, we weren't even matching... Uh, matching the other AI drivers, so um, we weren't faster than them, so that gives me a little bit of hope. We're going to check up in this corner. I did see Jeremy Mayfield with an alternate scheme. That makes me happy. Some awkward angles in the corner. That put me down to second gear. I was going so slow. Play a lot of the Ace Combat games. Now, anytime I think of Ace Combat, I keep thinking of Ace Attorney games. Which, that's a completely different genre. <laughs> but, my mind thinks of that. You fly and chase, he likes pineapples and pizza. Maybe? I don't know. That wasn't really what I was trying to go for. I don't even know if pineapples do belong on pizza. I have never tried it before. I heard from my sister's boyfriend that pineapple on pizza is, is good. And he was one of the naysayers of it. He didn't think it was going to be good. But he was blown away by it. So maybe it, it's like, maybe it is okay. I don't know. What I do know is Jeff Gordon's P31. And that don't make a whole lot of sense. Especially during this time period where Jeff Gordon was really good at road courses. So I don't, I don't personally understand that. Pineapples belong in trash. No, they can go on ham. I had Easter dinner, and there was pineapple on top of the ham, and the pineapple like made it sweeter. We didn't eat it like we didn't eat the pineapple with it, but like the, the pineapple juices were, was a good flavor that added to the ham. And I never had that before. I tried it. It was like that's it, it's pretty good. That's all, better than I was expecting. So if it did that to ham. Maybe it's got a chance with pizza. I don't know. I'm just saying it may have a chance. I just tapped Wally Dolan back there. Sorry. I just had pineapple juice. I had apple cider once, and I really, really liked it. And I did not realize that that type of drink makes you poop really bad. And I think that was the only ever instance in in life that I can remember where I sharted myself. And it was all because the apple cider was so strong. Or I guess I drank too much in a short span of time. But it just like, my, my body just blew up. And it was just a bad day. <laughs> so that was my only ever experience with it. And I, was, and I vowed, to, vowed to myself, I'm never drinking that again. I am not risking that. That is freaking terrifying. How it just all of a sudden just comes up and just you just go. You can't even hold it. It just freaking explodes. And I just, I'm not dealing with that. I'm sorry if you're eating your your popcorn or your freaking you know your your, your Pringles there, but it's just it's a story. And uh, I went into it. Thank God I was at home when that happened. If it was if I was out, that would have been. Probably the worst moment in my life. There's actually another story. That was, um... I might have been, might have been like 15, possibly. 16, possibly. 17, somewhere around there. I remember I got sick in a store and threw up, like, all over the aisles. Like, it was so bad to the point where... The, the entire alley of the aisle was just, like, from one end to the other was just filled with vomit. It was just... 
It was nasty. So I had that experience. That wasn't fun. We were waiting in like the, because it was like at a, because like it was like in a in a normal grocery store. Oh, the AI had it. Uh oh, and they're pitting early. All right, they they figured it out. That was almost gonna be bad. But it was in a it was in a a store that had like a walk-in clinic and we went to it and we had to wait so we're just kind of like walking around the store and then then it happened and it was just a bad time so there's some context on like why, why did you throw up in a store for going to the doctor well that that's that's the back that's the back story Yeah, we're definitely going to have to pay. 38 people here listening to what <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was just something I just thought of. I'm, you know what? Honestly, if you're watching this, you wanted to leave, I wouldn't even blame you. Because that... I, that's not a fun story. It's, it's a story, but not a haha. -ha, Lol story. That's like a ew story. So I don't know. But anyways, I'm pinned this lap. I've ranted and tangented so much in this race, and we're doing pretty good. But yeah, pit stop time. Right at 69 miles an hour. That was actually perfect. We were getting up through the field pretty well. I don't know if we're gonna win, but I mean, we're gonna undercut them pretty majorly, so we might have a shot. He missed a blue Jimmy comment. Uh, where was that? Uh, what happened during... It, it's hilarious, that's why we're all here. Well, Parker, I appreciate that. It means a lot. Sometimes when I do my season mode videos, I don't always... I don't always have time to just go in random tangents with stories. Live streams are maybe like the only ever chances of me doing that. <laughs> Ellie Sadler. My ass is not for sale. Well, that, it got me going, I'll say that much. But, yeah. Anyways, we're just gonna wait and see where on earth this cycles is out. It should be potentially top 10. Orange Eminem's trying to run away for this story. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, now this is just a waiting game. Obviously, um... Oh yeah, I gotta sell my memberships. I didn't even get to sell my memberships. What, what were the perks? Uh, early access to videos. I have Thunder 2003. I have two episodes out. I have an extra one out as, like, bonus. Locked behind a paywall for now. <laughs> but it'll be out. Uh, one of them will be out tomorrow. And then, um... There's, uh, Channel Emo, so you get the spam... Things. So there's those them those them their their perks. I will say KG knows how to how to sell his freaking emojis and perks way better than I can. I was watching his Thunder 04 Kansas stream. Maybe one of my favorite streams of of him of his that he's done with the Thunder 04 stuff. Peak comedy throughout almost the entire race. And chat was on it with the freaking replies and everything. It was it was a good time rewatching it. But it, don't tell me we're gonna cycle out and lead. We were running like tenth before. Okay, no, I'm just I'm just first. I, why and how? How far back was I before the cycle began? And now I'm just first. Am I just cursed to just keep winning? Do I need to like shut the lights off in the room? 
for like darkness time arc to, to can commence because this is just getting sick. Like that is just absolutely repulsive that this keeps happening. It's like nothing's changed. <laughs> but I really thought it was going to be a lot tougher. And someone DNF'd. Don't know who. Is the power of the undercut just that strong here? I just don't know anymore. I mean, they're going to have way fresher tires than me, but... I'm just... I'm so lost. Shut the lights off in the room. Stop! That's just my accent. My Pennsylvanian accent. Where I... That's like the one few words that have an accent tw twang to it. Turn off the screen. <laughs> Because of the strategy. That is true. Pace wise, I think I was, I think, 10th before the cycle began. Suffering from the success. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's so true. Talks like Ray Romano. What does that mean? I sound like I have, I'm like a horn? Is that it? I didn't know I sounded like a horn. Am I like the freaking Charlie Brown? The, am I like the peanuts? The peanut parents and the peanuts? <laughs> is that it? Is that what I sound like? I don't, I don't, I'm personally upset. Cause I'm like I'm not I don't even sound like a freaking I reference JC as like as like I, it, some people are saying like Squidward or something but like that that's at least a, a, a freaking non-fictional wait fictional yeah fictional you <laughs> object I'm just a trumpet I'm like upset. Also, Dale Earnhardt's second. I don't know why Ken Schrader Dale Earnhardt combo is just now becoming a thing. That's two races in a row where, we've, where we're somehow together. Ooh, tires are warm. I mean, the car is definitely slipping, but I think we're still maintaining the lead as we're heading into the white flag. He gained three tenths on me, so there's, there's, it, that happened. So, we're not really gonna win this race on raw race pace. Definitely won it because of strategy. Them just staying out so much longer. <laughs> uh, just rehearing the thing I said and, and quoting it feels like my brain really is just melting trying to comprehend it. Oh, <laughs> well, that's another dub. Two for two. He might be the strongest for it. It's either him or Bobby Labonte, which those two got second and third. Tony Stewart got fourth. Someone just said, I'm the kid from the Polar Express. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. I think that's the same It's the same voice actor that does Mandark from Dexter. Which is really freaking funny. Which is, that's, that's actually kind of cool. You're, you're like being... They're basically saying you're you're just a smarty pants. And it's not, that's cool. I'm, I'd be fine with that. I was, I was being referenced as like a freaking trumpet. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Denny Hamlin question mark? I mean, Denny Hamlin would probably sound like Denny Hamlin, so, I mean, you're right in that aspect. I remember Bobby Labonte was OP in this mod. I know with this recent update, which is version 1.25, they made, they nerfed Bobby Labonte a little bit. 
Obviously, these are fantasy road courses, so I know the AI performance is going to be pretty different from all the tracks. So I don't know who's going to be, like, typically dominant. I guess I'm, like, the only one <laughs> so far. I'm a dummy pants, though. Oh, no. No, no. You're a smarty pants. Like, the, the snack smarties. You're like that. You have a pants that are just in the, the design and taste of a smarty. Which means it probably wouldn't do good in, in the weather, in the rain or something, but I would, I would love to have pants that that were like smarties, so it's more of a compliment than anything. <laughs> Anyways, another dub. 13 minute race. Very quick, actually. Uh, so we led six laps. Terra Labonte led nine, so he leads the most. And he ends up getting fifth. Robert Presley, sixth. Hello. Uh, Dale Jr., 8th. Okay. Jeff Gordon, 10th. He started 31st, too. And, um... Ricky, Ricky Rudd back here. Oh, the points are definitely going to be all jumbled up again. Anyone DNF? There was John Andretti. And Steve Park. Both on the same lap, apparently. So that's even more bizarre, but... Alright. Kyle Petty, 38th. Um, what was this comment about? Non-fictional, fictional. fictional <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Seeing you in victory lane, ex Ken Shooter reminds me of how I taught me in 36 car microphone. That's cool. You're racing as Bobby Hamilton now, which is pretty sweet. So there's that, too. So my, it's probably Bobby Labonte, but actually on track, could be Dale Sr. I wonder if a playthrough versus national playthrough reduces different results levels. Good question. I would think it'd be about the same. You and I remember KG doing a bunch of the sim through stuff. I don't ever re really recall anyone unusual being up at the front. It was kind of the same. In fact, it was almost Bobby Labonte being OP because he ended up getting seven championships and then retiring or something. So, I don't know. This is weird. Be interesting to see what this, though. Who got 11th? Oh, jo you're Joe. You're Joey. Your, your, your John Benson had a... Ooh, ooh, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. All right. Yeah, we're going to go on to the next one. Race number three. Maybe this one, we could be challenged for, for something. Like, now it's at the point where I just... I don't want to win. <laughs> but I still want to try. It's Phoenix. I remember that being difficult. But I said the same thing with Homestead. The AI bone themselves on pit strategy. strategy. I almost said strategy. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that means, but... Anyways, Dale Earnhardt's third, Jeff Byrne fourth. Shockingly realistic top five. Oh, well, second, third, and fourth is exactly how they ended up in 2000 exactly. So it's funny how that is shaping up currently. Dale Jarrett's fifth, Terry Labonte is sixth, Robert Presley in eighth, Rusty tenth despite having a bad day. But, yeah. Uh, do we lead the most laps yet? I don't think so. No, we're tied with me and Terry Labonte. Interesting. Three second head start for the field. <laughs> Shit, I, I I don't I don't I don't want to do that. Are we doing the whole season? Yeah, but they're ten percent races. If I did the other, if I finished up the second half, it would just be more of the same, and it would not be fun. I from what I tested and practiced, it just was was not going to be fun. This is it, at least we're not going to suffer being as op for as long as we're shorter racers, so we're going to get away with that. Anyways, that was our paint scheme. You can't hide the fact you dumped. <laughs> it's okay. Did I dump him? I, th I think I know I got into him. I don't know, but on to Phoenix. Uh, did you know you could play this uh, this online using Parsec four players? I did. I I've heard about that. Somebody left a comment about. It. I don't know if it was from you. Or someone else, but I, I remember hearing about that. But 
to use a practice laps. Get the funky feels again. It's just an honor to have Denny Hamlin in chat. What a what a what a legend. So I don't know. I, I mean, I truly don't know anymore. I guess Homestead was technically tough, but we just beat them on pit strategy. So, I don't know what to do. I guess I, I was trying to pit with them, or like at halfway, because that's when they usually pit, but they like stayed out much longer, so. Do I gotta like dumb myself down and just pit, try to pit relative to them to keep it even? I, like, I don't know what else I can do to completely I guess what I could do is just start simming races or purposely just keep falling back but man I just want to be challenged Decent enough lap time. My phone blooped. I truly don't know who it is anymore. It's either JC or my mom. It's always those two. 36. Okay. Pretty close. I don't know. We'll see what we can do in the race. I, I truly don't know anymore. Why did my phone bloop? What, what, is, what is happening? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. JC literally just photoshopped. A sweet tart wearing pants. I don't think you could see it. Because it's like... it's There's too much of a, of a light, but... He just sent me sweet tarts as pants. And I kind of... I thought it was JC at first, until I realized, oh, it's sweet tarts. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try this race. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. We're on the infield road course at the Phoenix International Raceway for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. What should we look for? Bobby's in his alternate scheme. Oh my god, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Where is it? Not necessarily going to be the fastest car, but the smoothest. Damn it, I didn't see it. The job done here today. Ken Schrader has earned over 20 pole positions. Oh my god, the poles. I know, I know, game. He's really freaking good at uh, uh, getting poles. It's the third time you've brought it up. Is there any other stat on Ken Schrader that is interesting to talk about? No, apparently not. It's just, we just go into the race. That is the only highlight. Of the entire weekend is Ken Schrader had polls 20 years ago in 1980 in the 80s. That's the only highlight. Nothing else. Nobody else to talk about. What a what a farce. Bobby Labonte is in his Frankenstein car. That's that's actually pretty damn cool. I like that. Good good game. I like that. I like the fact that alternate schemes are still in this mod. I, it makes me happy. Who finished second in the first two races? Uh, Dale Earnhardt got second in the other one. Uh, at Homestead, I don't know who got second in the other one. But that is sad. I've, I've never seen him do three repeats in a row. Good lord. Alright, let's race. Tony Stewart I saw was fourth. Alright. 27 laps. That feels long. But this is a pretty short road course, so I'm not, I guess, totally not shocked. I, I knew, I just had a bad feeling about that. It was going to be an uh-oh, and it, it was. Oh, I did not want to go three wide. 
All right, if we put down a second gear, I was trying to be careful. John Andretti in an alternate scheme? It looks like an alternate scheme. That's that's a that's a that's a cool treat. Oh my god, that's death. That is some No! Oh, that's some big problems. How did I not DNF from that? I I had nowhere to go. Oh, he violently went to the left. Yeah, we're pitting. Yeah, we're definitely <laughs> pitting from that. Oh my god. Uh, that's the last of first challenge again. 19 seconds of repair. That's gonna make it hard. We ran- I mean, we, even, we ran the buyer card. I said that's gonna make it hard. God damn it. That was bad. Now the green M&M has two freaking eyes. That- now I'm like- now I'm like upset by that. Now you have a challenge. <laughs> it's not the challenge I wanted. I got a 499 super chat. Thank you, Denny Hamlin. Uh, cheers for streaming this mod. What if go going for Bobby Labonte since I can't win this championship? Fair, fair enough. Thank you. That's scraping though. My, that was that was obnoxious. That DNF'd. Two cars. <laughs> Green him. <laughs> God damn it. I meant to say the eyes weren't separated from the body, but I just said it had two eyes. <laughs> God damn it. See, that's what happens when I don't clarify. Or, like, I know what I'm trying to say in my head, but I don't properly articulate it. Alright, now we need to... I don't know why Dale Jr. was checking up there, but... Yeah, now we need to... Have a comeback. Our car is damaged. That much is sure. I cannot believe I did not DNF from that. That was such a violent hit. I thought it was clear of it, but his car just... Skeeted to the left so violently. Cheers for streaming this mod, what if? Goat going for Bobby Labonte since I can't win this championship. Again, thank you, Denny Hamlin, for the 499. I appreciate it. Bobby's currently second at points, so he's. If we're not factoring me in this, then uh, Bobby is our AI leader. We're going to go by those metrics. Watch us still find a way to win. That would just confuse me even more. We are making up some some good gains despite all this. So if we can just get out of here with a decent point finish. That's all that's gonna matter, considering everything we went through. Not Ryan Gosling. Is Ryan Gosling stupid like me or something? I don't know what that m message means, but I, I, I tr oh my God, Bill Elliott alternate scheme alert. That's the third one of the day. I'm happy. This is this is a great race just for that alone. Oh, that's the that's a that's the flurry car, the McFlurry machine. Ooh, that's that's hot. At least we're able to drive by it for a little bit, so that was kind of nice. Clear, 
Nice run through there. Through there as well. And there we go, get the spot. Brian with the cube. <laughs> oh god, don't get don't give me those flashbacks. A lot of spots gained. We we might still be able to rally back to a respectable finish after all that. If only the ice cream machine worked. Yeah. Apparently from what I read up on those on those ice cream machines is that there's like a special person that is specifically their job to check the ice cream machine. Not like any of the workers, but like a specific company. And they have to personally like call them to, to make that appointment to get that like situated. And apparently they charge a lot to have their services be done. So McDonald's like purposely doesn't always call them for it, so weird. Weird how that works. Man, it's sad. It's crazy. This car still has speed. <laughs> After plowing into the 27, potentially having children with that car, with how just how that played out. We crack ourselves up into 15th. That's 14th. Look at that. We passed Jeffrey Wood Eye. No problems. Uh, 27 car, I'm pretty sure, ran in real life. It might have been for the Bush series, possibly. That's where I'm remembering it from. But the guy got fired. Or the, the sponsor fired him because he was that bad. It was like... It was nutty. Oh, John Benson up here. And, 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 oh, that's a send. Yeah, we're backing off out of that one. That was going to be bad. <laughs> Scott Pruitt running better than Scott Pruitt, usually Scott Pruitt, so good for him. Well, that's 12th with Dale Jarrett, Benson in 11th. Just have to get a good arc out of this corner. And he's, oh, he's, he's blocking. He blocking here. Oh, that was a send. Yeah, don't want to keep doing that. That's a disgusting, illegal run off the last corner, but we'll take it. Scott Pruitt should typically run pretty okay since it's mostly road courses, but he, he really hasn't. So it's been a bit strange. Well, that's a, that's an uh oh spaghettio, and that's the yellow. That might be for debris. I guess we'll see what that that cost it for. Fourteen car. Oh my god! He just he just no talented off that corner. That was a very wimpy ass freaking wreck if I've ever seen one. That was lame. That was just absolutely lame. Lame. Alright, I'm assuming they're pitting this lap. Yes, they are. Okay. So, okay, no, some aren't. Okay, interesting. Alright, uh, four tires fuel, repair the damage, because we definitely need to repair all that damage. That is, like, that's bad. Uh, Anthony Lazaro never raced it. Apparently, Bill injured his knee in his work, in his workshop and missed two races in 2000. Paint scheme raced in one of the two races he missed. Okay, that's good to know. We'll beat out the they throw the caution for that, but not the word burn Daytona report. That is some peak NASCAR officiating. If I've, ever, if, I've, if I've ever seen it, even in the year 2000, they were getting it wrong. <laughs> I mean, damn. Alright, we're going to get out of here out here in 10th. So 
So basically, I think we stayed about in the same position. Now we'll have eight laps to go. And that's two AI yellows that this game has brought up. I expect the chaos, and I mean, we were definitely getting chaos. Damn, they, they definitely out, they, they showed up in that corner. They definitely outbraked me there. Large ice cream, 629. That is just... It's too damn high. Jerry Nadu, damn, he's got... He's got some cojones right there. He just... Just outdrove Chad Little in that last corner. Super code. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. There's something to it where they need to, to, to hire or they need a specific person to to fix them. They just can't have a, a normal worker doing it. They have to call someone for it. Whether they call them for the specific code. I don't know. Something. But there, there is something to it about that. Now we're just kind of stuck here in, in ninth, maybe 10th. I think we finally hit our plateau, finally. Ooh. Barely, barely made the pass, but we got it. Jerry Nadu just no skills into that corner. Well, looks like, lady, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finally have a race where we're not going to be able to win. And that's going to be a good feeling. It took a lot for that to happen. We had a, we almost DNF'd out of it. But we are, in fact, not going to win. I think we're still going to have a good point day. Bobby Labonte is nowhere to be found. He was second in points. Dale Earnhardt's up here, so... I don't know. At least we're going to be able to pass Steve Park cleanly now, unlike before. If we get another chance at it. And... Clear P7. Oh my god, Steve Park. Well, that's what happens when you send it in the corner. I can't believe that worked. Steve Park, never mind. I will shut up. He's a he's a man after that move. <laughs> Damn, that was that was crazy. Clear. If I just get another really nice run through this corner and gap him a little bit, I think we'll be okay to have the spot on lock. Don't know why I'm trying to pass Terry on the outside. None of that's going to work, so we're just going to back out of that. I, sorry. <laughs> That's still gonna, we're still gonna somehow get a run after all that. But we're not gonna have a preferred lane. Also, white flag time. Trying to get six. That was up around the outside. The unpreferred lane, mind you, and it still was able to work, so that was impressive. I don't think I'm getting a fifth. Uh, nope. 
Maybe if we get like a really good run up the last corner, possibly. Nope, nope. Alright, we're just gonna finish P6. Almost a fifth, but P6. Considering where we went, that was. That was good. Je Jeff Burry got the win. Tony Stewart fourth, fourth, Kansas third, Rudd second. We usually have more cautions than that, don't we? Well, you're I, right. But I'll take it. We didn't win. Race, in my opinion. It really makes the better I'm okay with this. Ken Schrader got a top 10 finish in this one. Of course, all these teams want to win every race, but a top 10 finish is still a great accomplishment at the racetrack. From all of us here at EA Sports and MRN, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. I have not raced to Daytona Beach. It was, uh, that's going to be the finale, or like the last race of the season. So I'm going to show the caution replay for this. Sometimes they do for other people. I remember it happened once. I don't know if that's going to... There was a lot of crunching there. What happened? Give me a better angle of that, because there was some... I heard some big crunches. Nope, we're just not going to... Alright. Two reels on the first lap. Uh, nope, alright, we're just not gonna get a real for it, okay. That's boring. But, yeah, good finish. Um, D Jeff Byrne led every single lap. That's, uh, t New Hampshire 2000 vibes right there, but on a road course. Kenseth was on pole and was able to, un unable to lead a lap. And for the first time this season, we're gonna lose points. Not by a lot, but we're gonna lose points. In fact, probably a lot more, because Burton got max points, so... Burton's gonna be probably pretty close to me in points, now that I think about it. Bob Labonte ended up getting 11th. Johnny Benson got 14th. Jeff Gordon, mid-finish, same with Mark. Scott Pruitt, disappointed in his performance. Bill Elliott was back there. Daryl Walter, P33. And Mike Bliss, Stacy Compton blew up on, or exploded on the first lap, and Kevin LePage blew up DNF at some point, and Rick Mass blew up to, with two laps to go at some point. Or, I don't know when, but, okay. Point situation has got to be interesting after that, especially with all the yellows and everything. Took a lot of things to go wrong, but we, it's going to be, it's, Birds could probably be around like 20 points back to me, I think, going into this one. Yeah, 23 points. Uh, Earnhardt, 39. Bobby Labonte, 55. Terrell Bonney, 72. So it's all pretty close. Even Jeff Gordon, somehow. I don't know how, but he's somehow close. Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace. Uh, 100, 100, I think the top 12 are under one full race behind, which is fascinating. The laps led category is going to be interesting because Bird's going to have 20 extra laps over us compared to everyone because... We ride a track that had a lot of laps. Yeah. Well, now we're entering the second half, or at least we're entering the first half, or finish, finishing up the first half of the season. So, different paint scheme. Basically the same one, it's just, it's just white now. And after Pocono, that's basically where uh, our stream ended last time. So then after this, we're going to be going to new tracks, or like, you know, different ones. So that'll be, that'll be exciting. The guys finished 14, 15, 25th, 31st, 39th. They do got some work to do. Sheldon Creed doesn't even have the heat he gets for that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That man is just cursed perpetually to always finish second, it seems like. And it's kind of funny. Tony Stewart trying to be Ricky Rudd going to <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, he's trying. Now I got the shit show. Yeah, it's it's a high probability. I just need like maybe two laps to get around here so I can remember how to drive around here. I swear if they bring up the commentary thing again where they just only talk about his qualifying, I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna leave this room. Because that is so stupid. I just need to get some air.
Shame the AI can't run around here confidently because it's a it's a fun track to drive, but yeah, that's a that's another really big opportunity for me to lose spots or gain a lot of spots possibly. If we get caught in the wreck, I mean it happened at the Phoenix Road Course, so anything's possible. So don't 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 you touch that dial? Don't don't touch that mouse mouse board, keyboard mouse <laughs> mouse key. Don't drop it. Keep your AOL dial up all connected. Because if you want wacky wrecks and, and, and rage, it might be on the horizon with this. Does the green M&M have to? <laughs> I meant that the green M&M now had, like, their, their, her eyes were separated from its body. I don't know why. I don't know why I word it like I'm worded because like yes obviously it's got two eyes i don't know why <laughs> that one i could concede i done goof the freaking johnny benson one that that's i will always see a face on there i will purposely draw it on stream again to do it because i don't know if i actually did it right fully because like the mouth actually connects to like the back of it so it's like they're actually it also has like lips or something it, it i didn't i didn't illustrate it good enough Does what ifs rum have any rum for some more rum? I don't know. But here we go, moment of truth. We'll see what happens, but we're gonna have MRN and friends take it away. We're in the Pocono Mountains today at the infield course at the Pocono Raceway for today's NASCAR race right here on MRN. This is one tough course. Yeah, as if Pocono isn't hard enough, now we're going to run on the infield course here, too. Wow, I don't envy these drivers a bit. It's hard work to keep these heavy cars from sliding right through some of these corners. Jimmy Spencer looks to turn his luck around in this race. And trust me, it hasn't been for the lack of effort. Those guys have been working hard all season. Maybe they can right the ship with a good finish here. How about the consistency shown by Ken Schrader? Ah, yes. The old right turns don't slow him down a bit. Yes! He handles these tracks like the true professional he is. They talked about something other than poles from the 80s. Yes! It was relevant and topical of, the, of, the, of this time. That's so nice. They... I... I almost want to cry. I'm getting stuffy. Getting all teared up now. This is just emotional. It's just they finally didn't be annoying. Is this what a Pocono Rofa would look like? Maybe, but I kind of like Pocono as it is now. now let's take a look at I just wish the cars raced better because the track really is a lot better than what the cars are kind of presenting it as. Kevin LePage on pole. That's not a good combo. Dale Earnhardt second, though. Well, I got a bad feeling about this race. All I want to do is just try to avoid the wrecks. But 15 laps, that might go by very quick with the yellows. But LePage and Earnhardt in front row. I know chat's scared of LePage. I, 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 I totally understand. Alright, they typically wreck off this corner here, going into the the oval straight away. Oh, yes it did. Oh, split the middle! Steve Park doing his best 2002 impression in 2000, and we avoid all of it. We split the middle, too. That was... That was hot. That was incredible. Holy snaps. That Holy snap crackle pops. That was some... Some dank-ass driving, yo. <laughs> Wow. Alright. We dodged all that, gained 20 spots. It's like my Thunder 04 career mode now kind of showing up. And somehow, they didn't... They wrecked, but they didn't bring out a yellow. Car was... It got tight there. I'm surprised it didn't end up as bad as it was going to be, but... Oh, they're wiggling. Roy Byrne got loose. Someone else got loose. That's three spots. Dale Earnhardt's choking away this championship.
Oh, oh, someone just obliterated the outside wall. Looks like the Lord Burn incident at Daytona all over again. I thought I entered that corner fine, but... Alright. Uh, Earnhardt, calm down. You're getting too feisty. You get, you're, getting, you're becoming an old man now. You gotta, you gotta calm down a little bit. That, that move would've worked maybe like 15 years ago, but it's not gonna work now. Phantom Foxy just went with the darkest joke I ever could have imagined. That is fucked. And I say fucked up things, but that is totally fudge, fudge a Rooney right there. You know who caused that? You know who helped Schrader? Wait, you know who helped helped Earnhardt choke away that third place? It was Ken Schrader. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Oh, I'm done. I'm, I'm, we're not going there. It's too, it's too dark. My phone blooped. That that might be moves the stream, possibly. Can we put Phantom in timeout? Put him in timeout for that. <laughs> Even though I say equally messed up jokes on like a weekly basis, I'm just gonna be completely biased. And just do it be mean for no reason. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're not wrecking. This has actually turned into a normal race. Other than lap the lap one fiasco, it's now just a normal race. The bloop was moves his stream starting. That, that makes sense. I'm surprised because it's only 6:56 Eastern time. Like it's not even seven yet. He's actually starting to stream like three to four minutes early. When has that ever happened? He's usually typically late. So, props to him. Jerry Nadu. I... Stop. I thought I win that corner pretty aggressive, but no. Jerry Nadu said that bitch going too slow. We're going too slow through that corner. How about that, Mr. Nadu? When I was little, I didn't know how to say Nadu, so I would be like Nadu. Deu. Just like how like, we used to call Christian Fittipaldi Christian Flippadidi. Because I didn't know how to say Fittipaldi, so I would say Flippadidi. <laughs> oh. I'm just shocked. Chat, I'm shocked. This is like a normal race. Where was this last stream? That moment when Kevin LePage has only fallen back to 8th while Dale Earnhardt has fallen back outside the top 10. Before I got into him and stuff, but he was like outside, like he was like 12th, so. Yeah, uh, Kevin LePage running better than Dale Earnhardt. Kevin LePage to the 3 confirmed after this race? I don't know, it just never... Why does it have to be me and Ricky Rudd always getting into it? I, like, I didn't even mean to hit him, but... Since it was Ricky Rudd, it just it just like willed me towards him. Oh, Johnny Benson fifth. That's cool. John Andretti second. Hello. Oh, Bobby Labonte's throwing away a good championship battle. Bye, Bobby. Bye, championship as well. It held up someone else. All right, Pocono, don't make me look like a fool and not be a shit show when I said it was. I agree. Thank you for the three, Jordan Clark. <laughs> Pocono, definitely proving you wrong that it's going to be a almost entirely normal race. What are the odds of that? Stacy Compton second? That's even more strange. Well, now we run down Tony Stewart. Uh, tires getting worn.
We're definitely faster. It tried. Labani tried to LePage Benson on track. I yeah, I saw that. I I I basically heard Ultimate Dragon screaming as that happened. Like I heard an echo through my headphones. Like it was it was loud. Too bad you're going to pass him. I mean, by all metrics and logic, I should, but I I'm kind of losing time to him. I'm not able to really catch him, and I'm. Kind of surprised by this. The car has definitely gotten really, really tight, so I think the wear is starting to, to kick in now. So I'm going to try to do the most sensible thing here and pit. So four tires, fuel, not repair damage. I mean, we're going to have to try to undercut him because he's just. He's too fast. I, I actually can't even run him down. Stacy's bomb. Good. That's a good one. Is that bloop from Moose's stream? Was that actually the case? It was. Okay. Yeah, it, it did start five minutes early, apparently. And a pit crew choke. By race win by 20.3. Oh my lord, that is just awful. Yeah, they the game really, really, really wants to make sure I do not win this race. And it succeeded. They definitely succeeded in that in that uh venture. Can't wait for next month sharing the same birthday as Tony. That is pretty damn cool. I know that feeling. I share the same exact birthday as Mark Martin. So, uh, having a birthday in the same month as your favorite driver is, uh, it's pretty damn cool. I also hope by the... Oh, that's not good. We're not a lap down. This is gonna change everything again. <laughs> This is going to jumble up the field door or something evil now. Where some people... Am I going to cycle out first? Like, what? what is what is, what is going to happen from this? Ward Burton. Taps the wall in DNFs. That car was made out of freaking foam. Or, like, wet paper. That is just a sad excuse of a DNF if I've ever seen one. I mean, we're saying now we just pitted, but they're... I mean, they could... I don't know what they're going to do. Like, are we going to cycle out? I want to keep this going, because I want to see what happens here. They're all pitting, and we're going to stay out. And now we're second. It's Stacey Compton just in second place. Okay. Well, this race just got flipped on its head, and it's the white flag. Alright, I we're, we're gonna try. <laughs> this game doesn't know what it wants to to be. Does it want me to not win? Does it want me to win? I mean it gave me such a golden opportunity. Oh, that's another DNF. That's a big crash behind me. Frickin' Viagra Cross about to pass me, but. We're gonna have to try to set up Stacy Compton somehow to make this pass. I think it's all gonna come down to the last corner to make this work. Oh, but Tony's in the way. Oh, he's slowing. What is ha what is going? Alright. Do that, undercut him. Oh, was that enough? No, it's not enough. I just threw the entire race away. Tony Stewart is gonna smell. <laughs> God damn it. I thought I was gonna like undercut them and like sneak on through and I just 
I don't even know what to say to that. Tony Stewart just freaking badassed his way from like fourth to first in one lap. I I got nothing. I was gonna try to set up Compton for the last corner, but Tony Stewart had other plans. That was that was nuts. I don't have any words for that. That Tony Stewart just freaking ch chatted his way into the lead. I thought maybe on the last corner I was gonna like kind of just get a run. That didn't happen. That's like I'm actually okay with this because Tony Stewart was definitely the fastest car we had. <laughs> we were boned on that pit stop. If anything, Tony deserved to win that so badly, but I've never seen an AI just <laughs> just will their way from like fourth to first and pass two cars in like one corner. I, I truly don't understand. Can I have a replay of that? It's not gonna show all of it, but it was like it was like a photo finish too, like Okay. Steve Sikanta just got... Steve Park. <sighs> yeah, car blew an engine on last lap. I saw that. Tony's saying on the radio the yell wasn't stopping. I don't know how he did it. That's, that's some Tony Stewart magic right there. I agree, Ultimate. It is stuff fuck. With a Q. I agree. Looks like a photo finish. 18 one hundredths of a second. Wow. He definitely led the most laps. John Andretti fifth. Mike Bliss fourth after what happened to him at Phoenix. That's a rebound. Uh, Ricky Rudd sixth. Kevin LePage seventh. Um, Michael Waltrip tenth. This field order got all jumbled up with that yellow. Or the two yellows. Or only one. I forget we only had one yellow. And all of our championship competitors finished like 25th. Bobby Labonte. Uh, where? Oh my god. 36th. <sighs> Dale Jarrett DNF. That, oh my god. Every championship competitor. Where's Jeff Burton? Couldn't have possibly finished much. No, he's 18th. That... Wow, that's that bad days for everyone. Well, even though we got third, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a very good point day after all that. Tony Stewart gonna gain on me in points. I don't even know where he was running, but he's probably gonna gain points on me after that one. Burton now it's down to seventy nine. Earnhardt's still third. Tony Stewart jumps up to fifth. And 10th goes to Gordon, so this top 10 still sort of shuffling around. Still, I would say early in the year, but it's only our fourth race. What do we have left? We have Talladega, Texas, Tiburon, and then, okay, so yeah, we officially went beyond the halfway point. Now with a different paint scheme, Wild Berry. And it's going to be fitting because Talladega is kind of a wild track. So, it's fitting. So, yeah, we've had like a photo, like a literal, like a literal photo finish. I got in the crash. We had like almost everything happen in the first four races already. So, <laughs> oh my God, your guys got 20th, 26th, 30, 34th. That's, that's some yuck. That's some yucky bad right there. Ugh. Imagine Tony Battis is way to a title. Uh. Maybe. That car was... Damn. Um, Shrek's never raced Pocono until 2010. That is true. I remember that. Elliot Seller won in the, in the truck race, and then the next day he, like, tries to do uh, his best, like, I don't know, uh, Kyle Larson impression. <laughs> Or that's where Kyle Larson got his inspiration to take out the engine in a wreck. I don't know. We're we're going to dig. And this is a 
obviously we've gone past the stream from last week, so we're in new territory. So we're gonna practice. If this track's kind of infamous, so I don't know if there's really a whole lot to show or anything that's that's not too surprising to anyone that's played this game, but it's a it's a classic track. Yeah, it's a track two where the AI have wrecked a lot, but I mean we saw with Pocono we only had one traditional yellow, so I don't know what to expect anymore. And if our luck is bad, we can get caught up in a wreck in DNF, so there's that element too that's also kind of weird or scary. I could do that too. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, uh, be careful on that last corner, by the way. <laughs> As you, case in point of what I did right there. Kelabani's 126 laps away from completing 10,000 laps at Pocono. He just needed to run one more Pocono race and not go like 50 laps down. There's a wall. <laughs> I know. I done. I done messed up. I think we got enough of our practicing in, which is only just two laps. But I almost did it again. <laughs> I'm bumming into the wall. I know. I I I uh, I made it. Oopsie doodles there. Yeah, we're gonna hit the wall again, but... Also, did you notice the freaking times? I never, I didn't get to show it in practice, but look at the freaking times. 103, and we got like a 59 second lap time. I could go faster, but... AI are not fast here. That is something I learned, so... I'm almost banking on something stupid happening to me, because if it's gonna be on raw race pace, we're gonna win easily, so... Um, this is also kinda why I didn't wanna do 25%, because we get the lead very quickly, so... Um, I'm kinda scared by that. But, we're just gonna let them... Akbar with the freaking <laughs> Clerks reference. Good, good reference. But anyways, we're gonna let them talk, and I'm gonna shut up. That's the that's the face game. That's that's just the emulator being dumb. That that's not a. It's okay. We're live from the Talladega Super Speedway for today's NASCAR Road Race. Joe and Barney once again here to bring you all of today's action. Restrictor plates won't be a topic of discussion today. Well, I spoke to some race fans this morning, and all they can talk about is how exciting it is that we're running in the infield today. They can't wait, and neither can I. This is going to be a great race. Ken Schrader is currently at the top of the points list. Yeah, but it's far from over yet. He's got to focus on being consistent. A little slip up for just one race can cost you big in the points. Wow. That's it? That That's it. There's nothing, they, no elaboration on anyone else. I just am that important in this world. Ooh, fireworks. Anyways, good stuff. That's not really emulator issues. That's just how Dolphin emulator just works. It's not like a lagging thing. It's just that's just how the emulator is. I I, I cannot control that. It's always going to do that if I click on it. But alternate scheme alert. I saw Bobby Hamilton in one, as well as someone else. 
I don't know who it was again. I want to go through this. Oh, rusty walls. Okay, rusty walls. Alternate scheme. Okay. All right. So 14 laps. Scott Pruitt on pole. That's also kind of surreal. But turn one is going to be our biggest run. The AI just take it extremely wide, so we can just you know gain like. 14 spots on that loan. There's some AI contact. Dale Earnhardt once again throwing away a championship by hitting the outside, I guess the, the protruding wall on the right side. Damn, they're just they were like checking up or doing something. I, I like had a Oh, did I just get intimidated? <laughs> Why did I do that? Jesus Christ, AI, calm down. There. Okay. Got that sword out. That was almost going to be a complete disaster if I was a little more careful. Oh, Bill Elliott ultra scheme again. I wasn't expecting that. Dale Earnhardt, no talent against Talladega. Yeah. Someone stacked up here. I don't know what happened, but... Someone definitely checked up. Oh my god. Earnhardt just went three wide in the middle. Hanging on. Definitely a big pain to pass them. Off that last corner, we gained a lot of time, so. Turn one, I think, is going to be our biggest strength to just gain as much a ground as possible. I break right after the Talladega sign. They're on the finish line. They are awfully close to that protruding wall, which I don't know who thought at EA that was a good track design. But it is freaking it's evil. <laughs> I know I'm so much faster, I just, I, I'm having such a hard time getting around them. Can I, can I progress through the field? Can my phone stop looping too? Can I stop getting a run and then the air bubble stops the momentum? What else? <laughs> there we go. Good corner. Hooray for turn one being weird it's a lot of spots gained there and that puts us up to 13th all right good we're doing what we need to man once we get some clean air and I don't have to worry about any other AI drivers He's so much faster. I'm constantly watching out for them. Should just take this corner a little more wide so I can get to the inside. Oh, they're pin. I didn't know you're pin, Stuart. I'm sorry. Again, pinning really, really early. Seniors were super awesome. But that doesn't count. He, he wasn't alive to live through it. His worst season when he was alive might have been like Jesus, uh, 1982. One or two? I guess technically 1992, because he was outside the top ten in points. I think in the other years he was inside the top ten somewhere. Robert Presley, again, just having a shockingly stellar season. I think he's still top ten in points, which is crazy. 
I, I, I should be the one. It's, it's fitting because I'm in a wild berry car. So, appropriately fitting, fittingly timed statement there. Don't know if they're pitting again. I don't know what they were doing. I, I purposely backed off. My phone just continues to bloop. I'm actually surprised they're not crashing. And when I was practicing here, got the lead very quickly, and they definitely wrecked a lot, so. It's kind of like Pocono. Uh, maybe they just got all the wrecking out of their system in the first, like, three races or something. Benson third? That's, that's good. Kind of a risk going down that low because I don't know if they're going to be pitting, but it worked out. And uh, now that we don't have to really have to worry about any people being in our way, we just sort of just run down Bobby now. Yeah, we cut that gap. Yeah, we're. I think we can get around 57 seconds, which AI can only run like 103 here, so um, yeah, I don't know why they're slow. That's, that's the yellow. That's some big problems. And we perfect timing because we just got the lead. Now we can pit. Some people pit early, so we're definitely going to have people, definitely, a good chunk of them staying out on this yellow and then being out at front, so um. That's definitely going to flip this race once again completely upside down. And we're going to see if they wrecked in the traditional spot of the track where I'm expecting them to. Like, in the infield section, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's see what happened. And, oh, yep. Jerry Nadu, big problems. Sliding on his roof. And, um... Don't know how that fully happened. He just started hopping. I pff, I don't know how that transpired. I wish I had more context, but that's all I have. And also we're pinning. And the rest of the field does the same thing, so I made the right decision. Why is my phone looping so much? My lord. Okay, it's my work group chat thing. That doesn't matter. Well, yeah. That's another... My picker went through Bobby Labonte's car. That was horrifying. Now we're going to see where on earth this cycles everything out with some people that... Yeah, because we got some cars that stayed out, so... um, I don't know what happened. I guess we're going to be out 11th. And we got five laps to go. We might have debris yellow, so uh, this race can end very quickly. We get We need to gain these spots fast. Dave Marcus up here. Ward Burton leading again after his Daytona incident. Scott Pruitt up here. I just noticed that. Bill Elliott's up here. Daryl Waltrip's up here. I got like every, every strange one up here. go set that up perfectly they just man man they it's on legend they're just that easy that is just so sad how we could just arc the corner a little bit and just gain like five spots oh that's a bad idea oh he gave me room okay that helped that really helped i wasn't sure if he was going to give me room but all right it worked
Well, that wasn't that hard. So now that I'm by myself, I don't know if this, this lap counts because we're still in the midst of passing, but should be able to get like a 57 second lap time pretty easily by myself. Which, once again, will really put into perspective just how slow the AI are here around this track. But, the only thing I could say is good thing we don't have a 25% race of this. That was a hot lap. Keep it up. KG just disliked the stream. Why would he dislike it? What, what's wrong with it? Oh, I did password burn, so that probably... <laughs> Yeah, that would explain it. That was a that was a terrible corner there. Yeah, it's a fifty-eight second lap. That's five seconds faster than theirs. I could probably go even faster than that. Thankfully, it's white flag time. Didn't even get my fastest lap time. But yeah, as you see, even in the track map, they just hit the line now, so we have like like almost a nine second lead. So uh, this is uh, quite sickening. Glad to get out of here. It's gonna be really important to build up a crazy point lead for when we go to uh, Daytona Beach because. Something's really wrong with that track. I referenced it earlier, but there's something really wrong with it. It almost has, like, NASCAR 05 vibes, where only you get tire wear, but the AI don't. So, if I was on default setup, just straight up, I would be almost running just... I would basically be running last. I can maybe make my way up to, like, 32nd, but then once the tire wear kicks in, I, like, fall back and drop to last, so... Really got to relish these points while I can, because we're going to need at least like a one, or nearly a 1-4 race lead going into the last race, just to have a buffer. So I will take this disgustingly 10-second lead. Ugh. Yep. Ken Schrader was the car to beat all race yep. long. Doesn't get much better than that. He led the most laps, and more importantly, he led the last lap, which gives him the victory. We hope you enjoyed the race tonight. For Barney Hall and everyone here at MRN, good night. <laughs> that abrupt good night. <laughs> oh, man. We've seen this victory lane, what, three times now? Surprised we lost twice. Oh, did you see that guy slide into the right? I, oh, that was some freaking doing some side moonwalk shit right there. That was, that was adorable. brain just turned off oh Johnny Benson third hello good day for him we led four laps it wasn't even the most laps today mean ward led, led the same amount Tony Stewart with a good run Bobby Labonte sixth Earnhardt seventh um, Bobby Labonte I guess led the yeah he led the most interesting Bill Elliott got ninth Dale Jarrett 10th Stacy Compton 11th Joe Nemechek 12th um, Jeff Gordon, 19. And the rest of the order. Jerry Nadeau, who flipped, finished 31st. That's badass. And uh, Jimmy Spencer, Ricky Rudd back here. Daryl Waltrip, bad run. Michael Waltrip, the only one that DNF'd. On lap four. But yeah. Quick race, relatively. And uh, one caution for one lap. One laps, in fact. 
some uh that's some heat game stuff right there with uh that usually it's always the fuel where it's like it says one lapse of fuel left it's like reminded me of that Point situation. 99 points on Jeff Burton. Good. We need that point cap. Dale Earnhardt third. Tony Stewart fourth. I think he gained a spot. Not sure, but... Bobby Labonte fifth. Terry Labonte sixth. Mark seventh. Pretty normal looking top ten just about. Maybe except for Kansas, but otherwise, pretty normal. Ricky Rowe eleventh. Gordon twelfth. Benson thirteenth. Joe Nemechek fourteenth. Oh, look at that. Ultimate Dragon's like three guys 13 14 and 15 all all in all smorgasbord together robert presley drops he was top 10 for a little bit there so there are more lab we led more laps We're still second burton led so much at freaking <laughs> phoenix because that lap count was so high or home or something i don't know it's just that was a lot Which track was it again okay phoenix okay Anyways, new paint scheme. The pedigree one. That's a new one we haven't raced yet, so that's hot. Tibron is the best fantasy. It's a it's a wild one. But we got Texas. This is gonna be the last road course of the season. And it looks like a kidney bean, kind of. Because the next two are basically traditional ovals, so uh, Yeah. We're gonna want to get some good uh Get some good uh, point gap going into to Daytona Beach. Guys finished 3rd, 9th, 12th, 33rd, 35th. 3 out of 5 isn't that bad, especially. I agree. I agree. Even in a mod, my guys like be together twice. That is, that is incredibly wholesome. Yeah, let's do let's just do a few practice laps just to show off the track. It's not much different from Thunder 04, but we'll do it anyways. And it's also another cheap excuse for me to get a little bit of practicing because I have not really raced here since last week. No, I, I, not at all because I haven't. This is all this is all new stuff now. So it's been a couple weeks since I last. Oh, not a couple weeks, but. Well, I definitely practiced for these tracks this week, but I've not actually done a stream-related race to these since the Thunder 04 season mode, I think. So, their fantasy season, so it's been like almost a year. Darian asked what people uh, would you take off the schedule forever. <laughs> uh, Texas, please. That's my immediate one. I think the other tracks could possibly be saved if you just give them a better car, but not so much Texas. I think I got a plan for the, the Daytona Road Court, or Daytona Beach. What I intend to do with that. I think I'm gonna probably just run a uh, custom setup. Kind of in the same vein as what I did for Vegas when we did the 100% race there. Gonna adjust the tire pressures, take out all the downforce, make the thing extremely fast, and adjust the fourth gear a little bit and purposely start last. Because it's still gonna be incredibly difficult, even with all that, so. I don't know, I just want to have a big point lead. If I can have at least over 100 points going to that race, then that's all I want. I think that's a good enough feel for the track in general. But, either way... We're going to this, let MR and friends kind of talk it away. I think, uh, I think that's kind of a 
It's just nice that they have different audio lines for fancy tracks. And they even got the, the, the track logo stuff in the grass, too. Like, they, they did all the extra stuff. It's just not like a... I appreciate all that detail, so... Yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna shut my face cam off. This is gonna go to black, so... Sorry. There we go. Texas Motor Speedway is the site for today's NASCAR Winston Cup Road Race. There's not an empty seat in the house for the race today. You know, I think I'm just as excited about the race today as they are. We're all in for some great racing in the great state of Texas today. Sterling Marlin is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today the 60 car has had some bad luck the last two races he definitely needs a good finish not just for himself but for the team his sponsors and everyone else involved with that team ken schrader has earned over 20 pole positions oh his my god career. the polls i don't care it's four in times in the last in six races they talked about it just eight of stop races from the front row and when you're not working your way through traffic a good finish is a lot easier Good intro. No, really, no. Honestly, no problems till they freaking mentioned the Johnny, the Ken Schrader thing again. That's annoying. Matt Kenseth on the front row with his teammate. That's that's pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know why on earth they would say get Martinsville off the schedule. The 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 track is not the problem. It's the the cars being trash at the track. Xfinity and trucks were fine there. It's almost the same case with North Wilkesboro when they were there last year. The trucks were fine there. The, the cars, Super Tour thing, that was fine. Then you take the cups there, and it's just like, it makes it think like the, that track is like should have stayed dead. It's like no, it's the cars are terrible. <sighs> Anyways, rant aside, let's get into this. Twenty-two laps. This corner going from the oval section to the road course part is where the AI check up the most. I'm going to try to take advantage of that. That was a freaking send. Now we don't really have the proper angle in the corner. We're good. P26. That's a lot of spots getting there. I'm surprised I did not, like, knock, absolutely destroy Jeff Burns' world with that. That type of send. Ooh, they checked up there. Alright, free spots. Free spots. Go. Ricky Rudd alternate scheme again. I like to see it. Man, that's not going to make Disco Inferno's narrative go well about anyone that plays this game just powers through the field. I just did exactly that. I'm just a freaking no-beaner. Is that a... Is that a... I don't even know that. I'm even using that in the right, correct context. But whatever. We're, we're moving up to the field. Man, the AI are having a hard time transitioning from the road course to the oval part. <laughs> What have you missed? Uh, I think too much. Too much to even describe. Lost attempt that lap. Yeah, that one corner. I'm going in there. 
way too fast. I'm trying to... I want to back it down a little bit. Hooray, we did just that. I wasn't just saying things and then, then it not actually happening. So that, that's convenient. So I like to think they're going to pit at lap 11, but they've been pitting a lot earlier than they should, so it could be like as early as lap 7, possibly. So now we are... I gotta worry about Jeff Byrne. He's really the only one in this in this point battle that we have to really to, to focus on. And I don't know where he's running. Way to get around him, buddy. Bill Elliott, I can't have you chop me off like that. That was that was too scary. That transition's pretty, pretty damn harsh. The car does not like it at all. Michael Waltrip's up here. That's also a plus. I don't think I've seen Jeff Burton yet, so unless he's leading, or we passed him a long time ago, might be good hands. Is he lead? No, he's not even in the top five. It's actually Dale Earnhardt, John Andretti. Okay. So I think we passed Jeff Burton at some point. They are definitely way faster than me. I am not able to run them down at all. Yeah, Earnhardt's gone from the whole field. Oh, that was a great run. Just was able to slide in there perfectly. Get the spot, get the position. This is a very, very wide, sweeping right-hander. Just feels like you're taking like an eternity to get through. But if we hit it right... Get, get some time out of that. We gained like two tenths that lap. I like lap four. <laughs> oh yeah, he was the one I hit. I I am I'm so stupid. That was a, that was a great exit. And that's fifth, fourth, third, and second, all right there in front of me. Surprised the AI aren't pitting yet. I thought they would have by now, but they aren't. And the gap now is four seconds. So okay, maybe we are faster. Just maybe the, just dealing with every other car is just was slowing us down all this time. I'm such the antithesis of, I could clearly drive the game pretty well, but god forbid you get me start talking and I just like forget the basic human elements of, of everything. So I, sh I should have known Burton is someone we passed on lap one. Oh my god. Can I? No. No, we're not gonna, we're not gonna pass through like that. Beautiful pass there. That that's how it should have been done all along. Kent is still hanging on pretty well. Props to Earnhardt. He wasn't even starting up in the front row. And he found his way to the lead. So that that's impressive. Oh now they're pitting. Okay, well that's good to know they're finally... I guess we'll eventually go down Pure Road as well. Kenseth. Oh my god. They just... The freaking cars leaving Pure Road just sent it. Jeez. That scared me. It scared me the fact that Kenseth also went in that corner about as hard as I did. So it, that threw me off. We ever pit in this lap. Oh, 
could have went a little bit faster, but I really didn't know where the pit road line was. 16-8. DR Hart was live. 21, he definitely would have seen an SRX race. Probably could have raced it too, but I don't know. He would have been 71 by then. I don't know if he would be able to race still. So yeah, 16.8 was the estimated time. Pure crew nail it. Yeah, they really did. 16.5, so better than the estimated time. Now we're going to see if this can just go green and see where this could possibly cycle us out at. I guess I can see why the AI just had a weird hit exit because there's really no way to transition back on the track normally. And we get a yellow. <laughs> right on cue. Luckily, I'm not a lap down. Don't know where that's going to shake everything out. It's going to... Well, 73, but you would literally, it would literally have to be this year. I meant he was referring to when SRX was a thing in 2021. It would have been 71 and 21. All right, let's just see where on earth this puts us. Uh, this is going to be all types of confusing. And it's Dave Mark. Oh, Terrell Walter joined him. What is that? That's even more bizarre. Yeah, I think they're... What? Darren Waltrip just joined Dave Marcus and being stupid. He's like, oh, he's about to hit the wall. I want to join him. What? What was that? Most of them are pitting, as they should. I don't know where that's going to put a... Okay, P7. Once again, the field order gets jumbled up with the, the yellow, like, right during the middle of pit cycles. That puts Jerry Mayfield in the lead. But Dale Jarrett. We could get another yellow for just debris, so that's always a possibility. Tony Stewart, three wide on the outside. Tony just being a typical badass. That's, that, that's all I was ever seeing. Five to go. That's definitely enough time to get the lead here, considering how good this car was. Number 12 is still there. Side by side with Mayfield. Nice couple of corners there. Oh, this is a long one. Number 12 is still there. I think. He barely cleared him. Clear. That's a spot. Now he's right, have to worry about Stewart. Good thing is Burton's nowhere to be found. Though Stewart's kind of up there in points, so I, I really should be on the lookout for him in the future. But yeah, we need we need as big of a point lead as we can going in Daytona Beach. I know that's a track we're gonna really suck and struggle at, so this and Tipperon are gonna be two big tracks to really maximize our points. That was your best lap of the day. And it, it, crew chief was right, best lap of the day. Almost like if you give me clean air, I can really nail some good lap times down. I just have to set up this pass. We're, we're there. Ooh, okay, I wasn't thinking about trying to make the pass there, but I'll try it. Maybe we could just try to arc it off this last corner. Just like that. He gets loose. He stalls a little bit to the inside. Lap led. And clear. New leader. Now we just have to run away. All 
not repaid. Good stuff. So glad I made these 10%. Definitely would not have been fun to do another, like, 30 laps of this being in the lead. Do you remember the rumor of Daytona 500 going backwards? I think that was supposed to be an April Fool's joke or something. Maybe it could have been from that. I don't know. That's, like, the only thing I remember. Somebody was talking. Oh yeah, Herschel McGriff. Yeah, he's he's still racing in his 90s. So, I, I would assume had Earnhardt lived, he probably would have ran SRX. At the age of 71, doesn't seem that impossible. But I don't know. I, we, I guess we'll never know, unfortunately. That's another dub. Earnhardt got fifth. Terry Labonte. Steve Par oh, Ken Kenny Irwin Jr. 10th. Hey. All right. Go to NASCAR's Frank Kibble. It might as well be, honestly, because it are, what, has like nine championships, 80 wins or something in Argo. A number that's never, ever going to be accomplished unless someone literally just no life sit in Arca for the rest of their career. Thanks for joining us. For Barney Hall and the rest of us here at EA Sports at MRN, we'll see you next time. Ooh, that, that was perfect. I hit that and it, it actually flew out pretty good. Also, that's what Brecker is. Yeah, I'm at Morgan Shepard's race until like his 80s or something. Fullest Cup driver in 2014. <laughs> I remember that race. <laughs> Irak Logano. Good stuff. Shit, you got me. Wait. Yeah, it would have been 70 then, not 71. Oops, doodles. My bad. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the stats. We led three laps. Dale Earnhardt dominated. Led 14. And... Oh, boy. Jeff Burton, 18th. Yikes. That is uh, 80 points lost. Unless somebody takes second place, we're going to gain an even higher amount of points. Listen to Junior's podcast with Marlon Yoder. I did not. I did not see that. Frank Hill, Morgan Shepard. I think Morgan, even by 2021, he had something wrong with him. I don't even think he could physically drive anymore. If SRX started sooner, he probably would have. But he has some kind of, I don't know if he has like early Parkinson's or something wrong with him. I don't know what, when, what year that started. I don't know if that was like 2020. But... Damn, I, I it sucks because I always kind of rooted for him. Even when Landon Castle was driving that car, like Landon Castle actually drove that car and ran it pretty well at Homestead. I remember in one year, it might have been 2019. But like the car, if you give it with the like a pretty decent driver, like they could actually do something with that equipment. It's not as terrible as one would think. I remember that. It was just funny. Did you play SRX again? Probably not. I don't see a point to it. I done. I did really like everything I wanted to do with it. But yeah, next up we got uh, Tiburon. We thought Talladega was was crazy. This one's even more insane. 165. That's good. That's a good point lead. Dale uh, Dale Earnhardt jumps to second. Burton drops to fourth. Stewart to third. Stewart all of a sudden just kind of having a good couple of runs now. Terry Labonte still 5th. Dale Jarrett 6th. That's our top 10 with Jeff Gordon still chilling in 10th. Benson still 13th. Oh, the trio of uh, Benson, Nemechek, and Elliott has now been jumbled up. Why'd you say the worst for last? That's just how I, how I did it. Shepard had Parkinson's, which was starting in 2020. I think 
thank you. I was pretty sure that's what was going on, and I, I called it. I'm smart, sometimes. Anyways, last new paint scheme is the Halloween one, which we're going to probably need it because it's a scary track. And it's fitting. But that's our laps led situation. We're still second. Jeff Burton has led 29 laps, but 27 of those 29 came at one track, so that's messed up. Anyways, let's get into it. Tip around. We have a big point lead. If we could just finish okay, we should just be able to clinch the championship right then and there, and then Homestead truly won't matter. Or not Homestead. I'm still thinking it's Homestead's last track. But I need a freaking... I need a pizza. What's the DNF? He might have. I, I don't know if I showed the full... Ra 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 ah, damn it! I don't know if I showed the full race results, which is my... Let's have a freaking Pringle. I'm hungry. Yo. Okay. There's one thing I'm going to change to this card. I normally keep a default, but with this track, there's something wrong with the RPMs where I'm not getting max speed and I'm way off the AI time, like a good second off. And in a track like this, I can't really afford to do that. So we're going to bump up the fourth gear from 80 to 83. That will give it just enough speed to where the point where I can actually hang with them. I don't know why it's like it with this track. It's the same way in Thunder 04 as well, so there's a pattern. But that's the only change I'm making. So other than that... We're just going to get into it. This isn't like a crazy adjustment where it's going to make me, you know, like, destroy the field. In fact, you know what? I usually put it at 83. We're going to put it at 82. We're, gonna, we're not going to go... We're only going to go up two clicks. So it's not... Sh it's, uh, sh it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's going to be okay. Hello. I'm going to Dega. I'm bringing a sign, hopefully. The booth catches it. It's going to say, no personality. I think Kevin Harvick knows a thing or two about that. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good one. That's a good sign. I am not doing all that with the car. It's not okay. Use the team. All right, all right. We're gonna lose the championship. We're we're gonna we're gonna we're we're gonna do it. And I'm gonna sit here, arms folded, and be like, "I told you." I will have it on manual, just to give me a little bit of a start, because I know we're gonna be on like 30th with this, and we're we're gonna be doing we're not gonna do very well. Where's the... Okay, it's the A button. Okay. A button. Okay. We won't lose this. Oh, oh when we get to freaking Daytona Beach, we're going to see the true wrath of how fucking weird that track is. We're going to just do some normal laps around here. Just normal, casual laps. Something's really... I'm going to Dega. I'm bringing a sign, hopefully. The booth catches it. It's going to say, no personality? I think Kevin knows a thing or two about that. <laughs> it didn't even read all my donation. No. It didn't, read, it didn't get the Kurt bit. That was weird. And my phone bloops. It's just absolute chaos here. 
But yeah, uh, Tiburon is higher banked. They're going to like 230. And the AI lap times are really fast. Which is Jordan Clark really, really, really wants the default, and we're going to honor those wishes. 46.9. Look at that second and a half off. But you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna do that, and we're gonna throw away this championship. Mike, what am I phone? What's... Weather. I'm getting a weather update. Okay. All right. Let's let let's 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 let us let us let us let Damn it! I, there we go. Welcome to the unique Tiburon Super Speedway in Orlando, Florida. MRN is live to bring you flag-to-flag -flag coverage of tonight's NASCAR Winston Cup Series action. This is a huge track, isn't it, Barney? Yeah, you think 190 mile an hour is fast, just wait until you see these speeds today. These guys are crazy. That's why I'm up here in the booth, where it's nice and cozy. The 32 car really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Jerry Nadeau has not had the finishes he's hoped for in the past couple races. Oh, he definitely wants to turn things around starting now. His whole crew seems determined to pull out of this slump. I wouldn't be surprised if they pull off at least a top 15. Ken Schrader will start this race with the all-important points lead. What a great feeling that must be to have the points lead. Although you also have to think about the guys closing in behind you. One bad day at the track and you got to start climbing the ladder all over again. Good intro. I like it. Uh, but yeah. Um, we're going to suck. I mean, unless some absolutely crazy things happen, uh, we might be able to fare out, but in normal circumstances, we're not going to do well. Ultimate scheme alert. Now, they check up a little bit entering turn one the first lap. I don't know why they do that. That's really... that's. Quite literally, going to be the only instance of me being able to gain spots is that. So I'm staying way, way away from them. There's the checkup. Jeff Gordon. Hi. All right. All right. That's more spots being gained. We're just going to merge back in line. And this, from everything I experienced, this is a about as far as we can go. But I'm going to try it's my best to stay in the draft. It feels like the AI could go like 240, 240, 245. But you never know. Maybe I'm the stupid one and we're going to be able to do something. Maybe that one practice race I did was just bad luck or, or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have optimism. Dale Earnhardt's back here. Now, every time I did a practice race, they always were wrecked. Somebody would literally lose all skill getting around this track, so. Oh, that's a checkup on the outside. That was perfect. We were not anywhere near that. So we could just take advantage of that, gain spots, P21. Maybe this isn't as scary as I was thinking. Jordan Clark might have had a point. Daytona Beach still could be a problem, though. I'm still using a custom setup for that. This was like a maybe, but Daytona Beach is, uh... They, oh, oh my god, they were wrecking in front of me. Kyle Petty just absolutely nuked his own race. There goes all of my speed. That's a yellow. And that's, uh... That's definitely hood damage. We just dodged a freaking bullet. And gained a bunch of spots by pure luck. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know what to say about that. It was wild. I don't know what the AR are going to do. Are they going to pit? <laughs> that was so close. I was so... I mean, we actually were in the wreck. We got... We nipped it. I'm, I'm glad I dodged it as best I could, though. Well, see, I'm tense because a lot of that I gained because <laughs> they wrecked. But see, it, it, I, I will concede that it was it is it was doable after all. Kyle Pay did a wheelie there, getting up on track. I'm surprised they threw a yellow for that, uh, for that like not before. That's a weird. Are they gonna pit this lap? I think we could actually make it on field to the end if we pit here. Are they gonna pit? Oh yeah, they're pitting. All right, we're gonna do the same. Got to repair that, that hood damage as well. Now, I mean, if we lose points here to Burton, this is kind of setting up to be almost normal, right? Because all the fast cars are people that qualify up the front still are up the front. If we could just get out of here with like a 10th place finish. My Ricky Rudd caused that because Ricky Rudd stalled. It just, it continues. Me and Ricky Rudd just continue to have beef, no matter what era we keep going in. But, uh, yeah, thank you again, Hollow, for the five. I like the fact that you brought a sign. <laughs> That's funny. Hopefully you have a good time there. Hopefully the race ends ends up being good and not, you know, ends under yellow. Just want it to go green. Gain three spots. Third at pit stop, so a, a picker do what they need to. And the game put me in third gear, I didn't even freaking shift right because I don't know my shifting buttons. And there goes my my extra track position, or at least a fighting shot to do something. Because I messed up because I didn't know wh which button freaking shifted because I didn't know it was going to put me in third gear, which is not the gear I really want to be in for the start so long. I'm going to need the draft partner. And that's going to be Jimmy Spencer. Jimmy Spencer, please pass me. I'm letting off the thrall for you. Thank you. All right, get up, all right, get up high, clear with the. At least we're, at least we're with a pack of cars. Uh, are you winning so I'm not, JC. I'm in ninth. Burton better not win this race. 240, 241. as much points as I can gain because if we if Burton wins this and we get 8 that's 40 points we're going to lose to him somewhere around there and he's going to be basically under one full race behind me which is enough wiggle room for me to throw it all away at Daytona Beach I just have to keep drafting with Rusty here to try to get up to this main pack if that's possible the, really tactic, the only tactic we can do is just Stay behind him and draft. Someone's falling off. That's Scott Pruitt. So that's going to be a definite spot to gain. Alright, we only gained one tenth, so we're really not gaining much. So, unless more of that pack breaks up, I think seventh might be all we get. Maybe sixth if we could pass Rusty and Pruitt. Oh my god, I fucking down shit. I used the- I clicked the wrong fucking button to- to- to look- I wanted to be on the hood cam. That's all I wanted to freaking change the angle for. Oh my god. So I don't know my fucking buttons. So I'm always- I'm switching from this, to the Dolphin emulator, to the PCXS2, and, this, and the, the controller buttons are fucking different. 
God damn. Oh, my God. I just want to block him. Oh, this guy definitely going to be a spot. Burton wins this race. We're gonna lose so much points to him. Can I even catch Rusty with the help of other cars behind me? I don't even know. How did I pull away from Pruitt by myself? How is that possible? Alright, well we got Earnhardt behind me. That, that'll definitely be a good car to, to push. Or to push me. Now we're, this is almost like the Thunder 03 season mode at Daytona. In this, the first one. Where I'm just kind of stuck by myself. Just out of the draft from Rusty to to do something with it. And yep, seventh is all uh, all we're going to be able to get. All right, with three and a half seconds behind the leader, that sucks. How am I pulling away from everyone behind me, too? Like, I thought they would at least keep up with me, but somehow they aren't? That's even more confusing. Well, all I can hope for now is, uh, Jeff Byrne to not win. Also, Dale Jr.'s ninth. I just noticed that. That's adorable. One point four seconds. I'm still losing time to him. That's such a fucking losing four tenths a lap to him by myself. How am I four tenths of a second slower than him? It's just kind of, just, it's just really the top five just racing by themselves. Maybe the top four. I don't know if fifth place is even connected to them. So, what a what a weird race. All all because I actually downshifted because I didn't know my budgets. I could have at least hanged with them. I don't know if we would have actually ran them down because we were drafting and I only gained like a tenth. So I really don't even know if I would have even gained on them based on that. It's just weird. Just kind of weird how that just sort of played out. And now, the, the big reveal. Did Burton gain points on me? How, I know he gained points on me, but how much? Because this is, this is big, going into the last race. Oh, he won. Okay, that just makes it worse. And he probably led the most laps, too. 
Benson got ninth. This was an exciting last lap, wasn't it? Wow, you know, you're right. That was an incredible finish to an even more incredible race. This NASCAR Winter Cup Series is so exciting to watch. Ken Schrader ended up in the top 10 at the end of the race. When you think that there are 42 other drivers in this NASCAR Winter Cup race and you manage a top 10, that's pretty impressive. Unfortunately, we're out of time for now. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week at the Tiburon Super Speedway. We're not going there next week, announcer. We're literally... We're literally going to Daytona Beach. Wrong, wrong assessment there. So Burton won. Led the most laps. Has 185 points. And we have 146. So we lost... Uh... 120 point lead? Somewhere around there? Gotta show their whole race results here. Jerry Nadu 15th. Benson, I saw the top 10. Gordon back there. Bill Elliott. Um, let's see. Anyone DNF of note? Just Michael Waltrip. Oh boy. Well, the finale definitely got interesting. And I will say for uh, Daytona Road Course, or for Daytona Beach, I keep saying. I am absolutely. Without doubt, using a fucking custom setup. With how that tire wears and how broken it is there, I'm going to need something to just survive. Not even a race where I win, maybe do. I need a setup just to survive. And it may not seem like I need it at first, but as we get like five, six laps into that run, we're going to see how bad it gets. We have a 131 point lead, which is really good. But that still could be completely diminished after Daytona Beach. So, a lot is on the table. Obviously, it's only between me and Burton. Earnhardt's mathematically out. Same with everyone else. Um, but top 10 looks pretty normal. Benson just casually chilling in 13th as usual. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's definitely going to get sweaty. Definitely going to get sweaty. So we won four out of the eight. Five. We've had top tens in every race. Our worst, our average finish is 2.9. Jeff Burton's average finish is eight. So by all metrics, we're going to go into this. And I even saved my, my stuff. I, my setup. Save setup. File. I don't know if I did or not, but we're going to do it anyways. But for Daytona Beach, we are, I, without question, I am using custom setup. Not really like full, full custom setup, but just tire pressure adjustment, downforce, and the gear ratio. But that's really about it. We're going to need everything to even have a chance. If I just ran default, I would just maybe start from last, maybe move my way up to like 34th, and then just completely car falls apart so much so we need that track is really hard with the AI because it almost reminds me of NASCAR 5 it's like they didn't model the AI to have tire wear I believe I told them to include it I had it from the beginning it was literally in my notes for like two weeks it was always going to be considered you, you didn't you didn't add anything to that would have prepared to blow up a turf one. Maybe. So, where we're going with, tire pressure's at 20. Down for us, we're just jacking that all the way down to the lowest setting. Gear ratio, up depth up to 103. And, practice laps around here. Need to use a custom setup for the 2500. I don't think you need a custom setup for Daytona. That track, it is hard, but it's definitely doable. Default. I, this is the one track I, I cannot, I, I cannot do that here. With how the tires wear and the AI don't, there is such a blatant disadvantage. 
My crew chief being sassy again. Boost your ego to epic proportion. <laughs> oh god. No, I my ego has limits. It it does it has limits. I I know what's gonna happen. Like Tiburon All I wanted to do was just a, a minute adjustment. Right? Then I was thinking, you know, that that could probably be say I could probably be like wiggled around and, and you know I could probably get away with default, but this is no. This is a, a hell no. The tires just bleed so bad. And again, it sounds like I'm like goop pulling your 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 pud with 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 my statements, but that is that is just what it is here. That that looks that looks pro that, that looks sickening. That looks very sickening right there with the lap times. But as the race goes, we we will understand. Now I'd like to think I'm gonna be sitting here, my shoulder my, my cross my arms being like, I told you so, and I hope that's right. I hope the game does not just make me out to like a freaking liar, but I this is the one track I I need something. We're still starting last. We're, we're, it's okay. Shh, 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 it's okay. Shh, shh. I can hear you crying. I, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll milk you. I'll get out some milk later. But we're gonna have Ember and take it away. And we're gonna, we're gonna do this. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series returns today to the sandy beach of Daytona, Florida, site of the original Daytona 500. Can you believe it, Barney? What a great opportunity for the fans to come out and relive a piece of history today. Man, you're right, and I'm just as eager as everyone else to watch what happens today. This is where the great traditions began, right here on this very beach. In 1993, Bobby Labonte finished second to Jeff Gordon in the Rookie of the Year battle. You know, that's a pretty good rookie class. At first, Gordon's accomplishments overshadowed Bobby's, but Labonte had been a solid contender for the title in each of the last few years. Chad Little must have had problems in qualifying this week. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. That car of Ken Schrader sure is something else, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely got one of the most interesting paint schemes in all of NASCAR. You certainly don't have any trouble picking him out on the racetrack, and that's what a sponsor is after. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Gentlemen. Okay, there's a lot to digest from that 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 segment. One, they mentioned my the, the Ken Schrader, not, you know, paint scheme looking, you know, uh, vibrant. The Chad Little one, I was not prepared for. I, they must have originally when they were making this game have like a uh, like Chad Little plan for this game, and then they already had like audio files like recorded, but they never used it. That is dope to see that. That's cool. All right, <clears throat> here we go. And I'm gonna sit here, literally sit here, and be like, I told you so. That the car is gonna fall off, it's gonna get really bad, and even with the setup, it's still not gonna be enough to be competitive. We're gonna struggle still. Jeff Byrne isn't even up here. That actually kind of pisses me off. Uh, where is he running? I guess we just have to keep sitting through here because now I need to find out where on earth you're not even going to address the car. <laughs> I saw it. Chat should not be so horrified of what I just said concerning the shit I say. I was speaking too damn fast, didn't let myself word it better, and I meant 
I'll give you some milk. Not my milkies. Because that's just... No. I... I, that just, that's my mind going faster than my mouth. Where is Jeff Burton? He is in like... Oh my god, he is... Jeff Burton just with a, a horrific qualifying. You are vile. Good god. I didn't mean it like that. Good god, I meant like I'll get you some milk. Not my... No. We're not... We're not... <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Burton with a horrific qualifying and that I'm upset alright here we go now this car I will say it will probably be fast the first like four laps because we got that, that downforce it's got all the straightaway speed but it does not have any corner speed even the original default didn't have that so Take easy here, turn one, break early. There we go. Right, that, was a good, that was a good corner. We nipped the inside wall. But that was a respectable first quarter. And look at that, I can already see Jeff Burst. I don't know why he qualified so badly. I was anticipating him to start, you know, not like 28th. I'm also kind of curious just to see how bad this car is going to be on the long run while starting last. So I've done it where I've... I haven't done this specifically where I intentionally put myself last. I did a practice run where I qualified started first. I went to having like a five second lead and then I lost like five seconds. That's a blow up. Oh, move out of the way. Thank you, Joe Dimashek. I know as the car, as the run goes on, we lose five, six seconds of, sp of pace. So, I, I know it's it's going to get pretty rough. For whatever reason, the AI just do not wear like you, and I don't understand that. Yeah, I know Moobles is live. Oh, no. No, once the tires start falling off, no, it, I would be last. I would be basically last if, if I didn't do anything. As you wait. Way to get around, buddy. Two or three more laps, we're going to get that tire indicator really, really early on. There was like a tuck before that. I guess there was some other incident going around the track that I wasn't aware of. Managing right. There are some crunches behind me. Oh, that's a yellow. It's. I think it's still too early to pit even. So, I don't think that's going to really mean much. Oh, 
Robert Press. There's like nowhere for me to go. But all right, I'll take 15th. That's another AI typical yellow. And it's for Wally Dollenback. Spinning and then getting help from Mike Bliss on that spin. For last. Literal last. That probably would have been me soon. Alright. What are they going to do? I don't think... I just think it's still too early for them to pit. I can't tell. Alright, they're staying out. Okay. I guess smart on them. So now because we have yellows that added into it... It's going to probably make our tie wear last a little longer. But that was just a typical dumb Thunder 03 yellow with all the settings jacked up. waiting for because my, my reputation's on the line if this doesn't if this tire doesn't kick in like it's supposed to I'm gonna look like a big dumbass you know I've done practice runs where that's exactly happened so I I'm, I'm terrified there we go that's a tire wear it, it's still early Still early for that to pop up. Oh, but that yellow might make it a little bit better. Kind of curious when they're going to fit. I keep thinking they're going to pit right around halfway. That's three wide in the middle. That's not good. Dale Jarrett in the wall. It's got the straightaway speed, but it has nothing else beyond that. Third in standings was Earnhardt, and as we see, Earnhardt's up here, so he might take second over. It is almost going to be like the real life 2000 season, because a lot of people don't remember Jeff Byrne was second in points for a big chunk, or maybe for most of the 2000 season, or at least at the end he was, and then he had a bad race and fell back to third, but Earnhardt wasn't in second for most of that year, it was like maybe the last bit, so it's almost turning out like real life, just about. I'm surprised they're not pitting yet. Okay, some are. I see some that went down pit road. So as we're kind of, I mean, I was right in the sense that we're not just pulling away. The corners just really suck still. Every time I go in that corner, no matter how much I try to back it up, it still wants to slide. To look out with it. Yeah, Mike Bliss is in front of me.
Yeah, it's starting. It's starting to, it's starting to get to that point. Man, I can't, I can't slow down enough for the corner. I keep thinking I'm slowing down enough, but it's just, it's not. It's just how it is here. It's just randomly, like, extremely difficult. Every other track isn't too bad. Or it's pretty consistent with its difficulty. And then you come here and it's just... All of a sudden... Really freaking hard. Yep, yep, there we go. All of, them, all of them got red and they're pitting. Okay. Even, even the time difference from our fastest lap to the most recent one, three seconds of fall off. Pretty, a lot more extreme than usual. They go around here as if they don't have wear or something. It just doesn't make sense. I don't know. We're pitting this lap anyways. They're pitting as well in front of me. Probably could have went down there way more aggressively. I don't know how I did speed, but all right, four tires, fuel. Ugh. Do me and Mick, Ricky Rudd like have like some kind of blood oath where we always have to ha like cause problems to each other? Now he just brake checked me going into pit road. Why? Just why would he do that? Well, I know we're not going to cycle out great. I thought I was going fast enough. God damn. cycle out pretty damn bad you look page them I'm sorry <laughs> man I I got no excuse for that Cycle out 17th. That is a lot of time loss, but we pit it so late that should have a bit of an advantage before the tires just completely die. Well, the first time. I wanted to try to pit with the AI. I felt bad to, to get like an undercut. Also, I think I was partially worried that like a yellow was going to come out during the pit cycle because that's happened so many times this entire seat like season. I think I was a bit hesitant on that. Also, I hate the fact I can't arc the corner the way I want to because of the, the freaking 
the, the guardrails are pointy. <laughs> they keep jutting out, so I can't really arc it properly. Dale can't win it because he's like 197 points out. Max points you can get is 147. And that's if I finished last and he won, led the most laps. So he's already mathematically out. Burton was really the only one that had a shot. Which even me running at 15th now, even if he was leading, that would be enough for him to win. Even with a noticeable tire advantage, I, I can't really... Well, then again, we got back end damage, so that probably doesn't help either. I'm not really able to do a whole heck of a lot more than this. Again, I don't know how they send it in that corner. Because doesn't make any sense. Where is Jeff Burton? Dale Earnhardt's leading. Uh, Burton's 21st. Oh my god. That makes it more infuriating. That I could have just ran default set up, finished last. And with how Burton's running here... I would have still won it regardless. But I went into this not really expecting Burton to run 21st. Kind of figured he was going to run like top 10. Or top 5, so that's annoying. See how it didn't take that long for the tires to get worn. I pit at what on lap 16. Six laps later, tires worn. So they're gonna be asking me to stay out like another six, seven laps, eight to pit on like lap 12 or 13. It just was not gonna be even feasible, or at least competitively feasible. That caution kind of helped with that, but. Also, I like the detail when I hear the, the car sliding in the sand. I hear the sand move. That's cool detail. I appreciate the game doing that. They didn't have to do that. I feel weird about this now. Yeah, we're definitely... Now we're losing time. Yeah, now the right rear is getting... Yeah, so... Yeah, now it's gone to that point. But that cost you kind of broke things up now. So I'm struggling and having this much of a problem with... Kind of a semi-custom setup. Jesus Christ. 
how much slower do I need to go in the corner? Every other AI car could just send it in there, and I... That's annoying. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't understand why this track is so incredibly, incredibly hard. That's why it was so important for me to build up a good point lead. It's like, they can, they, they, the send in the corner is just absurd. Just get this over with. Oh my god, just get to line, just get to line. There we go, we barely, pff, barely finished ahead of Burton. That's why it was so important for me to build up a big point lead. Ugh, god. That was just, at, as you saw in like nine laps after I got out of pit road there, it just got like undrivable. If that race just went normal, then, um, yeah, we would have lost a lot of time. That caution kind of helped a little bit. Yeah, but they're just able to send it in the corner deeper. Like, I'm going as, as deep as I possibly can, and they just outdrive me all the way around the track. But I won a title, at least. So we got that. <laughs> Hooray. A very unflattering last race of the season. And to think, that was nine laps into that fuel run. I would have to stay out another like four laps or, or three or four laps on that car to pit at like halfway if that was just like a normal race with no yellow. That's where you know it was getting bad. You, you got you got the taste of it. You got the taste of how bad it was. <laughs> this man just won a championship and he decides to whine about the AI being stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to rationalize why I was using some kind of setup. Because as you saw, it was getting like really bad. I needed something. But we did it. <laughs> Jeff Burton got 20th. Earnhardt uh, definitely gained points on all of us. He might be the new second place in point guy. <laughs> he led the most laps for sure, I think. No, he didn't. You obviously pushed it. Did you see how much the AI were setting it in the corner? I was going in as deep as I can, and they still were going, like, all out. If I backed off even more, I was going to get run over. I'm just, I'm annoyed. I was gonna, I was thinking about doing this. But we're gonna actually save this file under a different name. And then we're gonna run that race again without a custom setup. Just to show you what it would have been like. It would have been so undrivable. That I would honestly probably wreck by like lap 8. No matter how much I try to like be careful with it. So we're gonna do that. You can run that setup with right. Then I I don't know. I don't understand why I can't do it. It it literally it's not that difficult. I cannot get around that track for the life of me. I'm gonna save that under a different name. And we're going to go back to that other file and then run that one. And we're going to see just... No, not that. And we're going to do it the, the default setup way. If I could fit, I'm not making any bets. Because there is something really wrong with this track. Where's Jeff Burn first off? So I can look. He once again is qualifying a literally exactly how we did it in the, the first race, so. And what I don't understand is in Thunder of 4, it's not like this. It's 
balanced. Like, the tire wear, everything, it's... I guess you could say it's easier, but for whatever reason here, it's way harder. And I don't understand that. Because at first, you know, you go through this first corner, you think, oh, it's okay, it's not that bad. That's a lot of spots, typical. It's, it seems pretty normal. Even down to the straightaway speed, we don't even have. I mean, Grant, maybe some of that's for draft, but... Like, Ward Burns catch me. Why are we wrecking again? Oh, that's Steve Park. I couldn't even capitalize on that. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I, I just cannot get up through the field. I just, like, I just, I can't go any deeper. Steve Park just fucking did his best Steve Park impression, which is flip and have a horrific crash. That, I'm proud of you. Man, it's so fucking aggravating, because, like, I want to just run a, a fucking normal default, but for whatever reason, this track, I can't fucking do it. Still like a second off their their lap times because they're running like 48 fours, so it's I don't I don't understand it. I got a good I got a good exit speed. That's what I meant before. Like even on default, the exit speed's really good, but then on the straightaway, you just kind of can't carry it. Which makes sense, looking at the RPMs, we're, not, we're barely touching 8,000, like I know we can get another eight, 900,000 more just about. Oh my god, is that debris yellow? No, they're wrecked. I guess it was debris. Okay, weird. Might be able to pit now. I think we're right at that window. <clears throat> I don't know how... Over fucking driving the corner. But whatever. We still win. I mean, for 21st. I mean, might be able to still win it. Back there, even. Is that the brief from Steve Park, I bet? Yep, it is. Is everyone gonna pit this lap? They should. Again, I can't. can't freaking see it. Yeah, they are, okay.
just want a green flag run. That actually helped me. How they entered Piro like that. So that was actually a big plus right there. Usually we don't get luck like that on pit roads. That's kind of impressive. Also, I like how the pit stalls are just separated by just a line in the sand. Someone just took their foot and just dragged it across. <laughs> That's funny. Runs out of Piro. We're going to cycle out. We were 21st before. That's P17. Okay. Gain spots. Now we'll... We got a lot of laps left to go. Burton is gone. What's that mean? The DNF? No, he's no, he's still there. Benson's in the top five again. Okay, Burton's thirteenth. Okay. But that's. 13 laps we have to go on these tires. We saw how bad it got after 9. Like, how am I supposed to go 13? How am I still overdriving it? And how am I still hitting the inside wall? Oh, off pit road. Okay. I thought he DNF'd somehow. I don't know. Wouldn't surprise me if I missed it. See, if I see how much they gain on me, like if I if I took the corner, kind of like that, that's four spots lost. They could just enter it so deeply, and even if I try to get anywhere close to that, I I got nothing. I know three and four is a lot sharper than one and two, but like, goddamn, doesn't does not make any sense how they're able to go in there as hard as they're they're doing it. Okay, fastest lap of the race. There's just no way. Under normal circumstances, we are not. I know we're not going to gain. We're going to... Oh my god. I just want this race to go green to prove my fucking point that the tire wear is shitty. Do I got to do another fucking race of this after it? With no yellows just to confirm it? Like, god damn. I just want to make my point. It's, I mean, we're, oh my god, it's annoying, it's driving me fucking nuts, and of course it's for someone running literally last, with no purpose in life, <laughs> that's fucking harsh, but, literal scrub wrecking for last, that is just pathetic. I can't pit and make up all these spots, it's just, there would not be enough time. Even the RPMs, this just, I just got motored. I had the greatest run off the corner I could ever, ever dream of. Still lost power there. Like, something is clearly wrong with the default, or like, they're not giving me enough fucking shit on the fourth gear, because it should not be getting pulled like that.
Well, I guess the point is... Well, we need we have six more laps for this car to really fall off, but... Definitely not doing as, as good. It's got the run off the corners. That's the one thing it still has, but... We don't have the straightaway speed. As I say that, then we have three-way speed, but a lot of that is because of draft. But. It's promising right now. We got a five-wide photo finish. Oh my god. I took all that. Took all that just to gain one spot. Ugh. made that pass. That was impressive. I'm just focusing so much. <laughs> Try to make sure I don't blow it. So I'm just noticing this now. Turns 3 and 4 is a lot tighter of a radius. However, we're going through that corner faster than 1 and 2 when it's wider? How does that make sense? I'm extra confused on that. Yeah, I have to go slower through this corner. Than That's so ass backwards. Be like Darlington, where three or four, you go faster than one and two. I, maybe that's what's throwing me off too. Like it's just all backwards, and none of it makes sense as it should. Definitely not as bad this run, but we had some cautions that kind of took away some some laps that really helped it because we had a couple more. It would like two more it would would start getting really stupid to drive.
this is turning into like the 24 hours of freaking Daytona Beach, but I, I really want to prove that point. Cause, like, driving, we're getting like really perfectly timed yellows that help this out. That was, that was better, but <laughs> we got lucky. But the the extra yellow that kind of saved it because we were not going to make it like 13 laps. This is the kind of finish the fans love to see. Yeah, watching that last lap, I thought we were going to have a. Full I did better just because we had another yellow that kind of, sort of bail us out. Bird ended up getting eighth, so we did lose points. So, I guess in theory, if things were aligned properly, yeah, we we definitely could have done without a setup. But when I was practicing, I ran like the entire first half with no issues. It wasn't like a wreck fest like this, so I wasn't anticipating that. That's the official one. We'll stick with that. And, yeah, we won it by 116. Dale Earnhardt got 140. Did he win there at the end? No, he didn't. Who, who did win it? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, it was Bobby Labonte. Okay. Um... But yeah, I want to do a quick race. I'm going to change the settings to make sure we do not get a yellow. So I want to, I want to prove this, that as the run went on, the, the car just will get stupid and impossible to drive, and this is what I was referring to. So if I run default, and if we run enough laps, it's going to get terrible. By like lap 6 or 7 or something. I don't know. I, this is long and drawn out, but I really want to make this point, because I don't want to fucking come off like I'm lying about shit. I gotta purposely qualify last. Benson got fit. I that's good. I wasn't paying attention. Have a two to third race. Slow wind, fast out. What's really throwing me off is one and two is way tighter than three and four. But on a track map, you would never think that. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't ever remember Thunder or Four confusing me so much like this in this track when it's basically the same model, so I don't, I don't know what's throwing me off so much. Yeah, we're intentionally going to start last. And this is, uh, this has no yellow, so this for sure we're definitely going to have the fall off and, and have the problems, like I was saying. Can you For all intents and purposes, it should be that case. Hello, Murph. Because the first couple laps, it feels fine. Like, it, 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 it's really good. But then as the run, the, the run would go on, it would just kind of keep getting worse. normal. I'm definitely getting better at this track with all the extra practicing I'm doing now. This is what third third race we're doing. <laughs> This one where we we run all this and nothing happens, then I don't I am gonna lose my goddamn mind because last night I was having so much trouble with it. 
even this afternoon. So I, I would be even more baffled if this just ends up going super swimmingly. Can't believe Jeff Burton threw away. I guess the last race he really didn't because he got eighth, so he did, a, you know, pretty all right. say like if I'm not running around any other AI I I know I can get like an even better exit off the corner if I'm being too careful. Yeah like how Kyle got a run through there I don't know. I I can't just physically go in there any deeper. I don't know it's just weird. Every other track is kind of consistent in like what I expect. Let me show up here, and I'm just not really competitive. It's just weird. That's dangerous. Yeah, this is very dangerous. What we're doing this. This is gonna end. This is gonna end really badly. In, haven't gotten a tire indicator. Usually, it would start to pop up on lap six, so we're near that horizon. Drove it again. I don't know how. It just kind of boggles my mind. I will just split the middle. That works too. Or at least try, attempt to. But okay, you know, 23rd ain't bad. I don't. I. I don't know how. How am I over trying? Something is fucking fundamentally wrong with this fucking corner. It's sharp, I know that, but it's like, it's just, I, I can't explain what the fuck happened there. The car just, it just wouldn't turn anymore? I, it, it's, it's really hard to anticipate what to do when it's just, it's just, it's hard to fucking drive. Can I just make a normal pass? Why why do I have to fucking hit people? I was gonna go the outside there and of course I failed to do that. Now now I'm losing my mind. Why is it in my practice runs I was Burn the tires like five, six laps in, and now we're on lap eight, and nothing has come up. Now, okay, now we get it, but it's still way later than than usual.
I, I feel like I'm going insane because I, I don't know what changed in my practice runs versus now we're actually holding our own. We're not... Jesus fucking Christ, we're going 90 miles an hour. How could I not turn the fucking car? Jesus Christ. This must be just one of those few tracks where I'm just not ever going to understand how to drive properly. The good thing is we don't have any... any. I don't know how I'm driving it in that deep. I really don't. And I don't like the fact that there, there's fucking guardrails that, that are pointy, so I can't really arc it in the corner as deep as I want to because there's, there's fucking protruding guardrails. So that's annoying. I think my point still stands to some merit that we're not just weren't really that fast. But the tire is not we're not it's not getting undrivable like it was before, so I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm, I'm losing my mind trying to understand it. Jesus Christ, how much slower do I need to go like under 90 miles? I have to go like 85, maybe through that corner. That's like, like the wildest gap. So much fucking, we have to slow down like a, over 100 miles an hour just about to make the fucking corner just about. Jesus, god damn. Every time I get a run, they're just they're just there. Can't even capitalize the run. I've been building up the entire corner, arcing it the specific way. So it just keeps getting dumber. How I'm trying to understand this. Is this gonna be a track where I have to do a hundred percent race on? Because. Why is this so difficult? And why is it not as being as stupid as I was imagining it to be before? Well, I'm pinning this lap anyways. Cutting it close there. I don't know. I don't understand. We're definitely not just winning the race or anything, but we're just not really doing much. It'd be really interesting to see a 100% race here just to see if we can actually maybe run really well or maybe have a shot. I don't know. It's just strange. Jeffrey Bodine just lost talent there. Almost got into me, too. But do you see 
how much time they gain through the corner. They can just they don't need they don't need to arc it for anything. They just can run the bottom and be completely fine. Like I I just physically cannot even remotely do that. And that's how they poke their nose in there and ugh. I guess the leaders haven't headed yet, which is weird. Chat. No, I'm not. <laughs> God damn. I guess just for curiosity's sake, let's look at the lap times. So yeah, uh, 48.9... Some of them are running 40. Some of them are running 48 nines. Up at the front, 48 8, 48 6, 48 6, 48 4, 48 5. See how much faster they are? 48 5. Yeah, they're all four or five tenths faster than me. So, which is why I went with the custom setup of some capacity just to kind of hang with them. Just because right now we're really not able to do much. Cycle out in 15th, 14th. So, yeah, with custom setup, without custom setup, full run, full run or not, we're running around the 12th to 18th range. I, do, I have to do all these crazy wide arcs, and only then it works, but if there's no one around me, then yeah, it works out extremely well, but, man. Did I just, like, find a secret gem of, of a difficulty, or it's just really, really hard for me? That was my best lap, somehow. found like the most challenging track in this freaking game it, it, of all of this game I don't, I'm just sort of bewildered of what I'm experiencing right now it went from me thinking it was so impossible to now it might be feasible and I'm so lost on that like, this might be a track where I have to, like, just straight up legitimately qualify as well. Just to have a shot. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm losing my mind with how I'm discovering all this. Uh, I've been watching it for many years. Thank you for bringing a smile off your face. Oh. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate the kind words. It means a lot. I'm humbled to hear that. I'm kind of kind of ranty tonight.
Frosty did just piss on that. Losing my mind that he's, you know, running, out, out, outrunning me. Somehow, I, I gained, I, I, I don't know, I gained a run out of him there? Sure, I mean, I don't know, I don't know anymore. This is a bad idea. This is, this is indeed a bad idea. I need, like, the whole track to turn. How am I supposed to make this work? Well, answer to my question for me. I didn't even have to worry about it. Yeah, if I can always make passes like that, then that might be more doable, but... I'm not really faring much better this race just went green in terms of, like, position-wise and everything. Do you watch official Duck Studios? I don't know what that is. But that name is funny. This is now becoming a back and forth of me passing Dale Jr. and then the cycle continues all over again. get the best run ever out that corner, but it doesn't really matter when we get to the first one, because he outbreaks me. I break right at that shade where the grandstand is, and Dale Jr. just breaks so much later than that. Yeah, I don't... I don't even know how to explain this. It's still tough, as I imagined, but... It's, we're not just running last. I don't know how I even remotely got out of that corner in decent shape, but yeah, the tires are starting to get red, so... It's gonna get stupid to drive here eventually, but... It's not as bad as I thought, but we're pretty much running relative to where we're running in all the other races, so it's not much different. Yeah, now it's just gotten undrivable. Now, now it's just gotten... Yeah, tires are all red. That's what I mean. This, that's what... I don't know. This I don't understand why this track is so fucking hard. It, it might be the hardest track in the game for the randomest of reasons. Eighty miles an hour. I just was refusing to try to turn. But yeah, it's no. In all three races, I got twelfth, eighteenth, and. Probably going to be 18th here when we get through turn three, so it's really not much different. Yep, 18th, so I made my point. This track's really fucking hard. I'm done. I'm tired of fucking racing it. It just gets so fucking... It's so frustrating. But whatever, we won it with setup, without setup. I'm just... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done racing here. 
I'm so, I'm so, I'm so tired of it. Going full face cam. We're gonna, we're gonna wrap this up. I'm so exhausted. Look at general chat. Um, that is a batshit crazy freaking finish. <laughs> oh my god. Five cars under a full tent. That is... That is absolutely nuts. How did you... How is that even possible? I don't know. But leave it to Phantom to find some crazy finish. I don't know. We're done with that game. I don't even think I could do a 100% race because like the AI are so impossibly hard. But I'm going to get going here. I'm tired. Usually I don't even stream for four and a half hours, let alone three, so. I'm going to skeet on out of here, but uh, thank you everybody that tuned in. I appreciate it. Um, as well as Hollow with the 5, Jordan Clark with the 3, and Denny Ham with the 499. I appreciate it. That, uh, they literally made up for what I bought today for food and drinks, so that's good. But, yeah. We're gonna get out of here. Either way, I'll see you all Monday for some kind of stream. I don't know what exactly yet. I have to figure that out, whether that's a Heat 5 thing or maybe I just take a break from it. I don't really know. Oh, what a freak you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'll see you all Monday. Thunder 03 stuff uh, on tomorrow and Sunday, so there's that too. Um, yeah, I'm done. Uh, have a good night. I want to watch Moobs' stream, see what he's doing. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, oh my God, I forgot. For Golf Kid watching, because he literally mentioned this at the beginning of the stream. I gotta, we, we, we broke the rule. My head is freaking shiny. I gotta make popcorn on stream for him. So, let's get that situated. I know I'm breaking the rules. Everybody's tuned out. I'm sorry. We're gonna do it. And I was, I was gonna probably have popcorn anyway, so like, it's not really, not to a shock, but just old Redenbacher. Uh, movie theater popcorn. So. <laughs> it's false <ending. laughs> I forgot Golf Kid mentioned this. So this is, this is for him. So I do all that. Can you see me? Hello? You can see me. Okay. I almost knocked my butter thing over. All right. All right. That. There we go. So two and a half minutes. So lucky for you, I enjoy your outro thing. Yeah. That's good. And you helped. And you created that for me too. So that also helped. But yeah. Um, he wanted me to do this. I don't know if that's actually going to mess with the internet. I never actually microwave something while streaming, so I kind of... It's kind of uncharted territory for me now. But, 
usually um yeah so i also have this popcorn butter uh i usually use this for seasoning and it's good stuff it's good adds to it so there's that too now we just wait for it to pop it's only like two and a half minutes or maybe it's like two minutes and like 15 20 seconds but it's pretty quick so got my water here do i got any more water do i have anything else to drink like am i out yeah i am out oh my god that was like a nuclear explosion that just happened inside my microwave what the fuck was that that was loud That was freaking loud. Oh my. Don't know why I did that. Yeah, this is, all, this is all the water I have. I have like root beer. Do I gotta drink root beer? I really don't wanna be drinking fucking root beer. Cause this is like starting to get warm. I'm annoyed. It's starting to smell like popcorn in here now. Making me hungry. I had a cinnamon bun before I even started the stream, so I didn't think I'd be hungry, but kind of makes sense as now it's gone four hours. I probably was going to have this eventually. I just got to wait for the pops because we'll start going down here. Stopped at 20. I'll get 15. I'll stop it at 10. So we got that situated. All right. Let's bring this out. There we go. So that should be like, should be perfect. Now what I usually do is I do the Russian, oh, I can't close this. So what I usually do so I get this, my knife. It's a it's a crazy Russian hacker video. So that's why the bike always stopped in nine seconds. Yeah, it's right around fifteen or nine seconds. Um so I usually cut it. Can I can I even I don't know if I can show it properly. But it's down here. And now we just I cut it. I use a knife, so I'm sure that's like freaking. Cut it that way. And then do the top. There we go. We got the lid out. Oh, God. Oh god. Oh god. That's that's a lot of rippage. That was more than I anticipated. I gotta get this string out now. Ow! That knife was pointing towards my finger and I freaking hit my jaw. <laughs> so I just wipe this off with uh, tissue. Get the butter out of the knife. And then, uh... So we have it looking like this. So that's a, it's a good life hack. You don't have to get your hands in the bag or whatever. So it's it's, it's very convenient. Eh. Hmm. That's good. All right. Now I did that. That's really good. Mm. Now we can have the stream. Commence ending outro music. 